Come on out, you rapist! Well, there he is! Here comes the chairman of the World Wrestling Federation. Hey, look! He's a... Uh, uh. crazy i really thought when i was <laughs> when i was younger i thought cheese doodles were like i thought those were the prime time one. Oh, like and i th- i thought those were the, the like that was the main cheese puff snack mm, i did i actually did too actually because did too. that's what that's what like my family got the most yeah oh, they, so they and didn't I, give you the real shit no and i remember seeing cheetos and being like what is this rip off <laughs> Shit! <laughs> I knew that Cheetos looked nicer. Like Cheetos came in like a box, like a bag that had like blues and oranges on Blue it. Blue and orange. And cheese and cheese doodles came in the ults, the ults bags, and I was just like, "Yeah, it's one of the few shitty yeah. things that I'll still eat every once in a while. I'll just grab a bag of Cheeto puffs and kind of because they kind of melt. Cheese? They kind of melt in your mouth a little bit too, which is kind of nice. They're, like, they're, they're barely a thing. Do. They're very yeah, rarely it's, a thing. It's dissolved. It's, it's like nice. air almost. Yeah. Um, it's it's strange. They're really good. But like, dude, cheese doodles? I had cheese doodles somewhat recently, like in the last like couple months. Because like I saw a bag of them and I was like, yo, what the fuck? And I have to say, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck they put in that specifically that they don't put in, in Cheetos puffs, but they, they it's something. I think it's MSG or something mm. or, or something. It's, it's like crack. Cheese doodles. You could probably Could eat be. like eighty bags of those <laughs> before you started to before you started time. to realize. Don't you, you have to eat chips tortilla in a long chips? time? I have tortilla chips. talking about? You I only have tortilla chips? Oh no, there's yeah. MSG in here too. There it is. There oh yeah, yeah. But how much? It's not how that much. Pounds? It's almost at the ve- <laughs> it's almost at the very end of the uh, of the of the list. So there isn't much of it in there. Opposed to oh, like, dude, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, first cheese doodles, it's like cheese doodles, it's, it's the first it's the it's first just, it, it's it's MSG, MSG it's MSG <laughs> then rice m- then matter then, then matter then it's like cheese and maybe starch and cheese matter. maybe <laughs> leftover cheese enzymes or something kind That's of nainers <laughs> oh man hey everybody Hey everybody! Welcome, welcome to the Snark Tank Podcast. It's your, it's your boys. Yeah, it's, it's it's April. It's April. That means in the middle of the month we're all going to get ravaged. Some of us more than others. Not if you anti uh, government. We're gonna hold out till we go to prison, baby. Yeah, I already, I already paid, bro. I already you paid. are a fucking. You are a bootlicker. I I am called are, someone that does not want to go to jail. You are that's sucking what I off. Am. That's you pay that's before right. that is sure. that's Uncle Sam like simping right there. It's not Uncle Sam yeah. simping. I don't want to pay those motherfuckers. I don't want to give them my money. So anyone you don't want to give hope, money I to. I hope one day I pay them and they're like, you know what, Kingston? Because you paid, we're actually going to use this money to help you. We're not going to send exactly it to the what Middle a East. Simp would think. And it's exactly what a simp would think. I'm not simping. I'm hoping for a better if day, do, but I know if reality. I, if I do Eagle Scout shit, maybe one day she'll notice me. And like, nah, man, she never going to notice you. She ain't never gonna notice. You gotta take her. You gotta. <laughs> you gotta take her. I'm so Derek you, Blackman, and I'm I'm teaching kids how to force themselves on people. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> that's that's all you gotta. That's all you gotta know. Anyway, it's yeah. It's April. Not much happened, as far as I know. I'm sure that means tomorrow the king of America will die. Whoever that the is, king of the America. Family. Who do the you think the king of America American. is? Who do you think the king of America is? I don't know. Who's I the most know, like powerful fucking, American? John Stamos? I don't know. John? I don't know who the fuck the king The, the Greek guy? <laughs> the guy who like the matters so little. House? He matters so little today. <laughs> I think it's he, crazy. I haven't seen him in a long... I don't know what he does. He I looks think he damn near the right? same, dude. He, he looks great. He looks no, he great. doesn't. He looks no, he damn doesn't. near the same. No, he, Are you sure? There's no I, shot I he thought he looks great. I'm sure. I, I feel like I remember him being good. Chris, he looks damn near the same. He's aged very was, well in that last. When was the last years. time you saw him? When was the last time you saw him? Maybe 20, 2019? That's five years, Ben. At that age, he does look. He looks very we'll good. See. He looks good for his does age. He, he looks. Does good. he still look good? Of course, he, he looks for, good. For, I, I think, I think it's his genetic. When I say for, his, for that's syndication money. 
it's That's a what that is. It, it a lot of ass because there's some there's some celebs that have all the money in the world, but they still look like you know a, a just a pile of dirt because they're yeah, just they're, they don't they're care, falling yeah. apart genetically. Well, no, no they, have, they don't have good genetics. At a certain level, well, they also, thing, but no, no, but you have great. to also know, no, but you have to also know that like there are certain celebrities done, who care obviously. more, right, right, no, right, yeah. yeah. It's like it's it's a couple. It's like the it's like the the person who has the genetic disposition to build muscle, and they're also taking steroids. Like you know, yeah. they look yeah. am- like it's not just it's like a combination. Like but Phil like, Heath, that motherfucker has both. He he has the he's but, yeah. he's built to be a wall, and he's taking three He's funny. Ass. He's a fucking. So that's why he looks the is, way he does. That guy's a black. But what I'm saying turtle, is John dude. Stamos. <laughs> but what I'm saying is like like uh, well, who's a who's a rich celebrity who looks like shit. Um, oh, most. give me an example. <laughs> most, um, no, like I need like somebody Mark who Hamill? looks uniquely shit. Like Does I like Mark how Mark Hamill looks, looks, but he also looks old. Like he looks like oh George Lopez. I Mark bet Hamill George Lopez also is also very old. Oh, George un- Lopez never looked good though. <laughs> I don't. I disagree. I think he looked, looked pretty decent. Did you, you thought uh, so? He, his, I thought he's always, he always been like had, a, he always an had a ugly man on him, bro. I he really you thought George Lopez was an ugly guy forever. Let me okay. I don't, I don't remember him when he wasn't. I don't remember him when he wasn't old though. Because like even he's when like he had the George Lopez show, he was pretty dude. fucking he's like old. A, he's like a decent feller. Like when he's younger, he's you like he looks. So? De- I mean, everybody I looks wouldn't say decent. Yeah, I think so. You know, like Kingston, oh, you I can't know, possibly dude. be a person who says somebody else look doesn't look decent. That's ridiculous. Come on. I don't think he looks decent. Uh, what what is decent young. to you then? He looks like young. What is what is your what is your scale of decent? Because he's kind of like, what is, I don't, your, like what, is your, uh, what is your scale of decent exactly? Who's my scale? My scale is like, who's a decent looking person? I think he kind of like Kevin Hart's decent looking guy. Like Kevin Hart, like a decent looking guy. Like he's like very like middle of the road looking guy. Yeah, Kevin Hart's a middle of the road looking like, guy. That's Kevin Hart. He's not very, middle very of the road Kevin Hart. handsome. I think Kevin Hart. I think he's not Kevin very, very like middle of the road looking guy. If he didn't have any uh, money so. or muscles, I feel like you'd be like, yeah, that's definitely just an average dude. Yeah, um, he has a he has, he has a, when he when he obviously got into the car accident he got hurt really bad. Before that what, he was fucking a wall. He was for someone his when size. He, in the car he was a when wall. Maybe like uh, twenty what? right before COVID. So, I don't remember. Like right so before he COVID, car he got into that really bad <laughs> I don't car accident. That. Oh, he got into didn't a some, really yeah, bad car accident. Get, like was it was like with Walmart? It was like a Walmart truck or something, wasn't it? Something, something like, like that. that. He got into he I almost died, bro. It was really bad. For some reason, why do I remember it being funny? Why do I remember the situation being into, funny or something? Who, who got into a car accident? Kevin Hart. Kevin I think. Hart. I think there was like a, he got into a Walmart a really truck bad or car something? accident. Like he almost died, dude. Oh, whatever. I don't know why. I think um, it was a Walmart truck. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Uh, <laughs> reckless driving cause <laughs> crash. Kevin Hart. Uh, maybe I'm making. I, th- I swear it had to do with Walmart or something. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You got into a bad. <laughs> like got Kevin Hart crashed into a Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> he <crashed into> a <laughs> he just, you Kevin Hart great careening so through badly. a Walmart in like a fucking Kia Soul, <laughs> just like you know, <laughs> bare, he bare, has a Kia like, I like to, have, yeah, it's a small car. He's go, he's going seventy five <laughs> miles per hour through the Walmart. And you're like, I, what the <laughs> shit? What the shit is happening? What if you had to drive like a car that depend on your size? So like he had to have like one of those Fiat cars. Like one of those little tiny Italian cars or whatever, or That'd like a smart amazing, car. Because everybody be in yeah. comfortable cars. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind <laughs> that. That actually sounds I, good. <laughs> so. Yeah, and then a Shaq had to drive anyway, like a, for... a ship on wheels. Like they had to give him like <laughs> like the Shaq. Titanic and then put wheels on it. <laughs> Is Shaq allowed I to car? O'Neal sometimes, and I get mad. I'm like, why are you that size, dude? It is what kind makes of me dangerous. Said even more is that he was the he was the perfect athlete, and he just really didn't take care of himself, and it makes me so sad. Oh no, he, he loved uh, Big Macs. That was his thing. But like he loved he Big gotta... Macs. He didn't exercise. Well, he was also um, granted. He was also like unstoppable. But yeah, imagine, that's that's perfect thing. Athlete. imagine if you were. He would, no, no, he was a, he was a perfect basketball player. Probably yeah. Well, and the funny yeah, thing yeah, is, like he, unstoppable. he was he was so not built. Most people built like him don't play basketball. That's why it's so funny because there's a lot of people built like him that just go play NFL. They play football, and those people well, are the dummies. Is, but they've been brainwashed the is, as kids. Yeah, true. That's the thing. They get Dude, there's like, oh, a lot of people like, that no. are as big as Shaq. Maybe not uh, uh, height wise because he was like seven one or something. But like the frame wise, there's so a insane. bunch of monsters playing American football. And if they would have just freak. played. 
fucking yeah he he is it's fuck the there's thing a, is that he was athletic of him in Staples. too that's the thing he was he was big like that but he was fast right and he but was I'm strong so i'm saying jump. about these these football people he, they're just brainwashed yeah. seven, they're stupid they should have played basketball made way more money and, they, and no one could how stop he, him how, literally uh, wait, like, how when, old is like when people go back he's probably he's in like his mid-50s uh he's, he's probably in his maybe, mid-50s right now maybe me he was that G- much older G- than Kobe? Guess, no, he was not that much older than Kobe. Give me a guess. Give me, give me a guess. Sure. Kingston, what's your guess? He's like 47. Don't, get, don't look it up. Seven, don't, look it up. don't look it up. 47. Uh, that's, that's I would I say... No, I haven't. I didn't I didn't press click. Okay. Um. Okay, I would say... Okay, I said mid-50s. I would just say he's 51. Perfect. Shaq really? is 52. But, oh, I mean... Oh, really? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's, pretty, that's pretty on the money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, he's been retired he's, for a he's, long time, man. Holy shit. Well, yeah, he he's is because he was he was ago. already playing a lot before uh, Kobe got in the league. Like he was doing a lot with the he Orlando was, Magic. Guess, no, he was playing with Barkley and them. Yeah, I forgot. He was playing with Penny. He was playing with Penny Hardaway in fucking fifty two years. Fifty two years is a long time for t- for a tall person to live. So yeah, like, he, he really no real shit. His, his he's got, he's, he got himself in shape though. He because he was in he was in bad steps for a while. He was like very heavy set. Very like unhealthy and then like he started roiding he out. Was like, wouldn't you though? He did what? He, did, he I don't know. I didn't. He didn't roid out. He started just exercising crazy amounts. No, he's, and he lost he's, a ton he's kinda, of weight. He's kind of jacked right now. He's he's been. Taking oh, he's steroids. not kind of bro. He's, That's what I mean. Shaq is huge. D- just it's working disgusting. out when you're in your fifties and you're just kind of work. That's not how it works, right? Like you, you're, yeah, he's definitely your taking testosterone he's, diminishes. He's, he's taking. He's definitely great taking shit. tests and shit like that. That's hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Maybe not Dude, roids, but he's we've definitely gotten, on well, see, look at, shit, 100%. We, we've gotten to a place now. No, I'm in the in the bodybuilding industry where they don't consider taking uh uh testosterone unnatural. Though people will say that they're now natty, they're natural, and just be like, I'm only taking testosterone. Which like TRT has always been no, you're you're taking something that your body's not producing itself. So I therefore, that's, 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 that at counts. that point, that that's such a ridiculous. That's like saying that like, counts. oh well, yeah. That, that's that's basically. That, that? that argument is like that's like a joke argument it's that stupid. I would make to get out of something that I know I did wrong. You know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh well, exactly. everything's everything's technically natural because it comes from the planet in some way. We didn't just create <laughs> yeah. fucking plastic. We put a bunch of natural things together to make plastic. So plastic's natural. What are you talking about? That's past- that's ridiculous. That is funny. That that is uh, like, technically anything that says natural in food. Just- that is literally the uh, the criteria, because like you don't yeah. know what natural means. It, it can literally be there can be no. shit in your food and like oh, shit's natural. Like, what do you mean, dude? There is it, there it's is fine. It, it's so dis- it is so disheartening to learn how m- there you really cannot you couldn't if you tried probably get pure organic untouched unfucked with food anywhere. <laughs> Probably <laughs> at all. Like definitely even on, not like, in America. Definitely not no, in America. Dude, like America. No, dude. Even, hell no. There's no way. Nope. There's no. But what no I'm way. saying is like even on even on like deserted fucking like even on deserted fucking islands, the fruit that grows is still our like ancient genetically modified shit. Like, but bana- like the, the genetically or uh, mm. modified bananas that we grow and the genetically modified like fruit that we grow grows in those untouched areas. Somehow, I don't know what the fuck. I guess it's because we've done it for so well, long. It's not some. It's not somehow. It's not a somehow thing. Is that we traded people to get that shit? So they. So now I they have so, it, yeah. and then it grows there. Yeah, it's. Yeah, I you, guess that I makes think, sense. No, I think if you go certain places, you could like, but it's like not. It's not like a comp. Like maybe if you go somewhere deep in the Congo, where like most of your fucking neighbors are jaguars. Maybe you could find truly organic shit like there. Maybe, maybe but but the fact, there. But the fact that that's a maybe is crazy. And also, like, there's plastic in the rain that's getting in all of our food. Yeah, there's gonna be. They it's probably like, it's have all plastic. It's all, <laughs> yeah, they got plastic. In, they're they're not escaping the plastic in the rain. That's for sure. They're not fucking. They're not getting away from that thing. So that is I don't pretty know, funny. Man. How it's, plastic? Like, we're you gonna evolve into plastic monsters in like a thousand years or something? <laughs> there's plastic <laughs> in the rain. That shit's depressing, bro. <laughs> It really is fucking scary. Um, anyway, we just need a solid. We need a solid two years of no humans on the planet, and then we come back and we'd be like, "What happened?" No, we if we left for two years. It'd be bad. 
We need ten years. I feel like we need ten years out of here. Nah, dude. I feel like even even a year of us not being here with none of us our missions, we'd come back and a planet would be no, dude. I that's it's proven. First of all, nature would invade the fuck the out of fuck the world. What do you mean? It's like proven. Every, Wait, no, no, it's proven. They've, they've, there's there's studies that have been done that like what you call like if humans didn't exist for X amount of time, if you, you don't watch stuff like that, obviously, but like on no, Discovery like, Channel, it, they're like, yeah, like humans disappearing for like X amount of time, and obviously it's a it's an assumption. Okay, to a degree, first yes. of all, hold on, you're ci- you're citing the Discovery Channel. <laughs> I, I want you to understand this. You implied that I was stupid for not citing the Discovery Channel. Wild. Discovery Channel ha- often has there's often a, has factual things. Like I'm not right, I'm not like citing ancient aliens. Right, but Kingston, I'm citing like <laughs> hey, that's some real shit, yeah, but bro. Kingston, it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Kingston, it's like it's it's like one of those things where it's like there there are oh there are studies and it's like yeah there's stu- like I remember when I was a kid hearing that like by today in 2024 New York would be underwater. That was like true in 2002, and it's like well it's, obviously not. I, I, so like. Things can be wrong. Like think, okay. So think of it like this, right, Chris? Think of it like this, Chris. People have sure. to mow their lawns every day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, right. I understand. So I understand you what you're saying. I understand what you're so, saying. So two I do, what I'm saying is be, the, I, what I'm saying specifically is the time it would take for all of the plastic and all the bullshit that's already here to that truly wouldn't go be away. That shit wouldn't be way, gone. That'd be there. It's way longer than just two years or like a year. And it wouldn't really like it would. The planet would be in way better shape without us for like a year or two, of for course. sure. But it would still be fun. Most, it would be buried. That's what it really like. A lot of it would sink to the uh, in the oceans, and then a lot of it that's uh, in everywhere on the the ground, it will be buried, and then the you know it won't start getting absorbed back into the sky and all this shit for it to be rained and all. So it would do. It's just like a lot of uh, things that are old and in layered, like in permafrost and all this stuff. There's a lot of things that we don't know about. That unfortunately, because yeah. of global warming, are being unearthed. That's scary, and could I really don't population. like thinking about that. I really don't like cool. thinking about that shit. Pretty cool. Bo- uh, you don't like thinking about the about that. What's cool? About- There's gonna be What's some cool Draugr coming that? out and like start just fucking killing everybody. You Do know, you like- think, Derek? Right now, right now, I want you to be hundred percent serious right now. Yeah. If a Draugr bursted into your house, right, <laughs> and it's not, it's not an ancient Nordr, so it can't shout, but it's a Draugr. Do you think you could defeat a Draugr in a fight? <sighs> no. Why? Because if it, if it, first of all, like you need a torso. A torso is so important to really fight somebody. Like to really have an intact, because that's the target. That is the target area. It is so hard to hit people with that thing missing. Like if there's just like bones or something, and then now you're gonna try to like what tackle it or something. It's it's just the idea of even trying to fight something like that just seems. So impossible and so scary than just fighting a regular person that I probably wouldn't even try. I, I don't even what think makes me I don't think I would even scared. try. Oh, what makes me more scared, right, is that like it's missing all its muscles, but it's like swinging stuff around and moving. So like, how strong is it? Yeah, it's got to be powered like, by magic or something. Yeah, like, right. So is it gonna be like? Is it gonna hit me across a room and I'm be like, holy yeah. shit? Also, I wouldn't even try. It has I wouldn't like even bone try. fingers, so it can just stab me. It can just stab <laughs> I wouldn't even try. Me with its finger. Like, what do you do? You run out? Do you just get? Do you evade it and get out the house and if run away? I would try my best to try to evade it. Hopefully, they're slow. I imagine they would have to be slow, and then why? I would just run away. What, what about <laughs> yeah, why them? They, why they what about them breaking the well, rules? If okay. so far, and everything else would them have to be slow because it's like magic <laughs> has its limitations too. It's like so you, you know assume what I mean? the limitation is it can't move quick. It can stand. It can walk it can around. It can stand. It can walk. It can carry, it can carry heavy things, but <laughs> also that, that, that giving it super speed that, is also is too much. <laughs> it's too much. That bad. Draug- Listen, that Draugr. That Draugr is animated on ones. He's like he moves around like a <laughs> yeah. si- uh, he he mo- he moves around like a fuck. Fucking, like a smiling friends character, like it's it's. I spit on you. He's fast. <laughs> Dude, that episode was so good. Did you watch that episode? Of course, I watched it. I Dude, haven't, it's haven't it's such a anything. perfect. It's good. It's, it's just one. It's comeback. just one episode. But like, dude, it's it's. I'm not gonna talk about it because you you guys can just watch do, 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 do. it if you, you want people to see it. But it's like yeah. it's it's about a, it's about an, uh, an outdated like PS1 mascot platformer character and and the animation on it is so so good. It, it, it. Um, <laughs> yeah, it looks but, like shit. I like it. Yeah. But yeah, dude, I uh, I don't know. I don't I know. Drugger. I think I, I could not beat a drugger. You, you, you could not beat a drugger. If you if you could take its head off, I think you could beat it. Right? I, you why would you why would I, you think you'd be able to take its head off? 
Because I'm one. It's connected by magic. Because I know that's the thing, right? Well, the the dragonborn does it, right? But he's also plot armor, so yeah, I don't know. He's also yeah, you're not a dragonborn, like, Casey. Uh, you are. You are. <laughs> that's how. Because no, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Right. I'm thinking like genuinely. Right. The dragonborn is a regular guy until he absorbs his first dragon. Pretty much. Then he's like. Then it's different from that moment on. I actually don't know. Is, is, is that true? Uh, I mean, pretty well, much. It's, it's not confirmed, but as far as him being able to do actual supernatural things, uh, but we don't know how, like, say, capable. So here's the thing. Let's just assume it's a regular person, though. I'm sure they they had combat experience beforehand, at least. The thing is, Kingston, you don't. I know, I know. So I'm trying what to, makes you think I, you can I, fight I can one? Be shysty. I can be a shysty fella. They don't have eyes either, right? No, they have eyes, right? Well, they have to have something that acts you. as eyes. <laughs> I know they can see me, Chris. I know they can see me. I wonder if I can blind them. That's the thing. Mm, probably okay, not. Kingston, you probably can't drown on, them. Wait, wait, wait. Talk to me. Can't talk starve to me. Them. I'm gonna try to drown a drone with no organ. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yeah. so Kingston, how Kingston. are you gonna blind <laughs> it, then, dude? Yeah, how you gonna blind yeah, it? I want to. I really want to. I really want to dive the into this. I really want to wait. Hold on. Crazy, <laughs> Kingston. Kingston. I really want to dive into this because I'm so curious. What you just said is so inspiring to me. He, he, he. You know he can see you. You know he can see you. And you also know he doesn't have eyes. No, I don't. Know, I don't know do if they have eyes or not. That's the thing. They. I don't know if don't, he has eyes yet. They don't. I think some of them have eyes. I think drowners? some drivers have eyes. I think some have eyes actually. And I that's think the only they thing have they have these glowy still. things that are as their eyes, but they're not eyes, are they? Like you I see, like they're, the they're glowing. Not eyes. That might magic. be the only thing they have. <laughs> you can't so, listen, blind a dragon. <laughs> so at least the ones that we're uh, talking about, I don't think they typically have eyes. They or like do maybe they'll have the rotting dra- that do they have really don't have optical. eyes. <laughs> they have optical lights, pretty much. <laughs> like I feel like anything that any uh, th- nothing would work. Nothing else of them works. So why would why would their eyes work? So they're technically even if they had actual physical eyes, they don't work. They're not doing what they normally would do. What the fuck? How do you beat a drogger, dude? I don't this think you avoid it. You avoid it. Do you I would, think yeah. do you, so? So, what try do you to think run is away worse? from a drogger. One hundred percent. Do you think it's worse? Do you think running away, fighting a drogger, or fighting a farmer is worse? I feel like fighting a farmer is scarier because farmers are so disgusting. They look scarier, I but can, I, I feel, feel like I, like I would at farmer. least try to whoop its ass. It's intact. I know it can bleed. Like I kind of understand that it's a creature that needs to be destroyed. If I saw like un- something undead, I wouldn't want to fuck with it. I just can't. That's just too. It's too like I don't the have that in me hope, to want to fight something undead. The best you can hope for that is truly, sincerely, uh, you would ho- you would have to be you'd you'd have to treat an undead creature like that like you would radioactive material. Like you'd have to like bury it in like a really deep hole with like a really impenetrable like cement or lead or something like it, no, it, it, no. you have to understand that it will always be alive or always be active but you have to just put it in a place where it can't harm anybody or it, or it doesn't matter that it's alive you know what i mean right. that's you what you how, have to do to it you know how it, you know how crazy it is to bury something in a coffin filled with cement and then put cement over the coffin so the thing is just in there st- stuck alive just upset Dude, that's what they did <laughs> that's what they did to the to, to people in chernobyl Actually, like well, the people who died in Chernobyl because their bodies were so radioactive, they buried them in a coffin. I think oh, it was a lead sure coffin they, or something. Oh, yeah, okay, it was a lead coffin. Probably. They buried the lead coffin in cement, and then they covered that cement with more lead <laughs> because <laughs> some <laughs> crazy <laughs> shit. That's how. That's how that bad irradiated. it was at that moment. Your your body wouldn't even look like at that moment. I feel like you would just dissipate as a creature. They'd be like, ah, and you just turn into fucking sparkles. Like, you got killed by fucking Gogeta or some shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you, would... you turn Let's into sparkles. Because well. you're so irradiated. You got so much extra radiation, dude. There's so much extra heat your cells are doing, you know? I feel like you would just fall apart. So it says you're yeah. safe to tour Chernobyl. Would you do it? No. No. I have no curiosity. Yeah, I don't trust yeah. it. Even though they say it's safe, <laughs> 
I'm like, I don't care. I don't you gonna care. You trust the Russian government? Yeah, it's fine. You come here. Yeah, we'll prove it. Like, I would do it if I had a suit. If I had a suit and a Geiger counter. So I just know for myself that I'm safe. You know what I mean? I, I would do it yeah. then. I don't even but think I would do that because I don't even know if I trust nah, the suit no entirely. I feel like the suit in and of itself is like, <laughs> the suit looks so damn silly and so damn dumb and silly and dumb that like part of me doesn't believe that it really works that much. I feel like it works a little bit. <laughs> but like, I don't well, know. I th- it probably does work a little bit. That's why like I would go with one and have my Geiger counter. So then I feel safe, but then if it gets to a certain level where I know like this is clearly the suit can't protect me, I will just go in the other direction. I would do that's the one condition I would do. Let me ask you something. If could would you invest? Let's say let's say for let's say hypothetically this is only ten dollars, but it works really, really well. It's not like a cheap it's not like a stud fighter you get at Home Depot for five dollars and it's a piece of shit and you have to get a new one. You let's say you install a Geiger counter in your apartment, almost like a almost like a smoke alarm. Yeah. Just to have it. And you have it in your apartment for like a couple, just a couple years and it doesn't do anything. And then one day it's just like, it clicks like a million times in an hour and then it stops. <laughs> How do you feel in that moment? Well, I would probably be like, I should say my goodbyes. Like if that, either that was a major <laughs> malfunction or we just got hit with the flash of radiation that was so strong that I'm dead really soon. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm dead really fast, so I'm either way. I'm gonna just say goodbyes. And, hey, I might disintegrate like really soon, so I'm just gonna let you guys know. That's the thing that, that scares good, me about, Ge- about. That's the thing that scares me about Geiger counters is that like I I would love to have one just because I feel like it's, it's such a cool thing to own. There's something about that that's so sick. But I feel like if I turned mm. it on and it started making any noise whatsoever, I would be so scared. <laughs> <laughs> you turn it on and it like, <laughs> blows up and you're like, oh man. Ooh, yeah. Oh man. There's a digital no. one here for a hundred bucks. Looks pretty nice. A digital Geiger right. counter. No, nah, give me. Yeah, it's a I want the analog radiation one. Detector. I want the one with the little dial. Yeah, the and then like make sure around. it makes the fucking noise too. It needs to make that noise. Yeah. <laughs> if it's not can making that buy? noise, I don't want that shit. You you can what, like buy, just like an OG like, one? Geiger counters, right? Yeah. I, yeah, yeah, there's no problem. Imagine. There's no problem. Geiger counter. I was calling Geiger counter wrong this entire time. Why uh, did I put in? Uh, I put in OG Geiger. I don't know why I did that. Like, what the I, fuck? And then when I, as soon as I erased Geiger, well, just the GE, then the the rapper o, OT Genesis came up. Do you guys remember that? You remember <laughs> that guy? Do you remember the oh I'm in God. love with the Coco I do not guy? That guy? I'm in oh, love yeah. with the Coco. I got it Poor guy. Like, for the Rip. Lolo. <laughs> he probably is dead. What happened to this dude? I don't Ray know. Is that, that Trinidad James? Bacon soda. Is that Trinidad James, right? The glass, nigga. Huh? That's Trinidad is that? James, right? Uh, anyway, I, I don't know. Who? Isn't that Trinidad James that made that song? No, isn't that a different person? I think it's, it's him. <laughs> I don't know who Trinidad James is. Uh, I'm saying OT Genesis, man. Oh, OT, Gen- I just say OT Genesis. Stench. Yeah, he's probably dead. Let's move on That's to some questions. crazy. Yeah, yeah, okay, go ahead. I hope the first question is about OT questions. Genesis. I'm saying, hey, what happened to him? <laughs> it's not. We're starting. We're starting simple with our first question today. A large Mexican guy who works at Starbucks wrote in. Mm. Says, "What's up, cumboy, semen man, and spunker?" What's the best Mexican food and why? Damn. It's a lot of That's good ones, but. The best Mexican food? That is a. I'm going to um, go burritos, man. I see. My favorite is a chimichanga. I love burritos. A burrito. Just like a fried burrito. Really? Just, just a fried burrito. Just fried burritos? Yeah. yeah a chimichanga. Like when you fry. Well, I mean, frying anything is fucking excellent. So you fry a tortilla, you wrap it, you <laughs> yeah. know, you wrap, put some shit in it and you fry it. God damn. A chimichanga, and then if, I think if, I was if, gonna go burritos, man. I love burritos. They're so fucking good. Some nice, some nice chicken. You know, some nice well seasoned chicken. Make it nice and juicy. Some rice. I gotta say, man, I had a a mole now. chicken burrito at a cigar lounge in L.A. a couple years ago, and I haven't stopped thinking about it. Wow. Um, and it I probably, am not a big it fan it probably, of mole. Well, I you don't like mole? Didn't think I. I'm not a big fan of it. The, no. Really, I the love thing for mole. me. 
I don't even. Well, that's the thing. It's like I don't even know if it was the mole. I don't know if it was just the 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 rest of what he. You know what I mean? Like it could be any number of things. Mm-hmm. But whatever it was, that combination of mole and and the type of chicken he used and and how good the chicken was and like all the rest of the shit on it. The, the exact tortilla and like how fresh it was. It was just such a perfect fucking burrito that I was like, I can't believe how good this is. I didn't know what mole was. I didn't know it had anything to do with chocolate. If I knew, I probably wouldn't have ordered it. You wouldn't even <laughs> try it. Because I probably would have like freaked me out. <laughs> yeah. But it didn't taste like, I didn't taste chocolate at all. Like it didn't, yeah, I don't you know. Didn't like, taste it didn't, it, yeah. It doesn't um, have a but chocolatey was, taste. It has a chocolatey texture. Yeah. I, I, I guess. Some chocolate for sure. I just don't like, I guess I've never had one that, I liked, you know, I've never had one that I'm like, oh, yeah, That's I, fair. I want to come back for this. You know? I've never had some a person f- prepare mole for me very well, but I've had mole things that are good. Like, I don't know anybody that, I don't know anybody that prepares mole, really. So I'm mm. like, oh. Yeah, fuck, man. Yeah, nice chimichanga, uh, maybe with carnitas. I think, it's a, man, pork is fucking dangerous, man. That shit's so good. I don't just, like pork, pork very much, good. man. Oh, uh, you fucking. I don't know how that's possible. I didn't grow up but, eating it, though. That's the thing. Ah, uh, that's. Dude, there's nothing. The carnitas burrito is so f- god damn. That shit's I like so bacon. Good. I think bacon's delicious. Yeah, of course. I mean, you, and I think you that's pork. Por- like, and I think, and I think, uh, like, uh, you pork like versions of pork. Good. Yeah, but you, I don't, so you, I'm not so a pork you do like lover. pork, but you're just not like a pulled pork I'm type not of a guy. Pork, maybe. Yeah, I'm not a pork lover. Like, I, I, I don't like. You don't I like pulled choose, pork? I won't choose pork. Uh, no, I'd rather a burger. I'd rather just like just ground beef. That's I'd rather so chicken yeah, always I, over everything, though. Always. I, I mean, chicken, chicken, over chicken like to me, chicken is when it comes to a burrito. I chickens, I'm usually like I. The, I say chicken's, that even yeah. though I have a chicken burrito in my fridge right now, like that I'm is chicken burritos every it's time. Great, bro. but man, for I just, tacos the, you can't get chicken. I do sometimes, and I get looked. So you got it backwards, like, actually, dog. People, they, they give you looks. People you give you looks ba- if you get chicken burritos. That's crazy. You got it backwards, Let's like boiled tacos. tacos are it common. Is, I feel you, like they're always not. On the menu. I feel like I know no one Dude, that eats some other than me. It's always really. on the menu. You always get you I know, mean, asada, the, 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 the menu is always like everything. It's like no, El Pastor, no, no, no. Cabeza, no, it's Pollo, not always everything. carne asada. It's not always everything. No, that's, that's the difference. It, it, and then with a burrito, is usually more red meats thing. You can get chicken, but that's usually not a chicken I feel, burrito. I feel, like, I feel like I've never went to a Mexican place that I've been like. Because whenever you go to a Mexican place, it's like burritos. Uh, tacos, uh, tortas, um, so what else is usually sell burrito? Yeah. Uh, quesadillas, See, and it's like that right there, and then it has all of the meats. It gives you like all, like, whatever, I gotta four, say, five, six kinds of meats. I guess it depends on I gotta that. And then you just order whichever you want with whatever. Yeah. Like, if you get a, if you get a chicken torta, like, people are gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? Obviously. Then, like, no, no one eats this ever. I feel the same way though. But usually it, when yeah. it comes to tacos, like, every time I'm with anyone, Lily's family, whenever all of them, yeah, I'm like, can I get chicken tacos? And they're like, what? You eating chicken tacos? And I'm like, yeah, I prefer chicken tacos. I've, I've, I've prefer, never had that. I prefer that's, chicken that, on that, everything. Yeah, but, if I'm yeah, being yeah, but I've never had that experience. You're, you're you're extrapolating. I think I feel like you're you're taking Lily's family and her weird fucking family and yeah. uh, well, the exploding thing is that all, of, it. all of my Mexican all of my Mexican friends. None of them they, they eat when it's tacos. It's usually carne asada for tacos me, in that, particular. That's default, but like it's like say there's. Um, when I lived in LA, it particularly, like I know like, they exist. Obviously, the amount of like, um, the amount of street uh, tacos there around, like my area, by uh, Manchester and Western, there was like uh, uh, just buses. What do you not buses? What do you call those things? The t- the trucks, the food trucks, and then there was just people yeah. standing on corners and shit doing some guy like that clearly didn't have any type of license, just cooking outside of his house. And he was just, and a lot of them were just street, you know, they're strictly tacos, like just straight up Mexican were like straight up Mexicans don't even fuck with burritos. Like you can go to like a Tacos yeah, El Gordo not- and they don't even have burritos or anything else. And I'm like, damn, yeah, I don't really eat, I don't eat but burritos, like yeah. they'll, they'll have yeah. more of the, the meats, but like they won't, they're not going to spit on you if you get some fucking chicken. But, uh, I guess chi- like I said, I love a chicken burrito, but uh, most of the time, whenever I go to Mexican spot, they don't, the chicken is usually made for not like It'll be like this boiled marinated chicken that you put in I other stuff. It. It's good, but it, it's dude. really stringy, dude. It's like I love it's, it. Oh, it's man. not my favorite type of chicken. That's why I'll, I I, it, I I'll sparingly get like a grilled chicken thing when it's done, cut up chicken, and then it's fucking you know all panned out and shit. Like a like it's you, usually, you ever had Del Taco's like it's chicken? A, a shredded, usually chicken. Yeah, like I, if you ever had like a grilled chicken from Del Taco, like when they prepare it that way. That shit's like there's a Roberto's up the street and they prepare it that way. It's fucking amazing. It's I'd amazing. I'd rather not eat Del Tacos. 
I'd rather, I'd rather die. I'd rather get my ass whooped than eat Del Taco. I hate that place. Del Taco has good chicken. I, I would fucking. I refuse to eat Del Taco. That's I fine refuse. if you refuse it. You're just missing out because they actually have really good you chicken. Probably, you, you probably have a good Del Taco because the Del Taco around the corner from my place is <laughs> derelict. <laughs> it is, so, to be it fair. might as well be Chernobyl. <laughs> to be fair, there was um um I used to work at this warehouse where I would just unload grandfather trucks for like eight hours, uh, grandfather clocks for like eight hours. It was fucking hell. And the only thing say, that was like a grandfather truck, grandfather truck. You take a truck out of a out truck. Of, <laughs> 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 you just take a truck out of a truck. Dude, it was a bunch of like, it was like <laughs> J.C. Penny <laughs> warehouse. Dude. And then yeah, we took trucks out of one giant truck. <laughs> That's so stupid. That's so fucking stupid. But it's like uh, a Russian doll. Yeah, there was a uh, there was a Del Taco. That was the only place around the warehouse, and that del- that was uh, I was always a Taco Bell guy, so I didn't really. I was like, fuck it, I'll go to Del Taco. It's right here. I think they poison their food because it, it tastes like shit, <clears throat> and so it made me even. It, it took even longer for me to warm up to Del Taco because of that fucking place where their beans taste like piss, like there's piss in them or something. And I, I'm a bean and cheese burrito guy, and I'm like, what the fuck did you do to your beans? You just need to put fucking salt in them and shit, and they just like pissing in them, I guess. And uh, but pretty much most of my go to now, they got good fucking fries, and I guarantee you, you would like. Well, maybe not at the, your location, but their fucking uh, chicken is actually. Excellent. Surprisingly good. It's surprisingly yeah, like, maybe, like oh, know. this is really good. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked really, at how I'm, good it is. I'm conflicted about tacos in general because I don't like the tortilla that it comes on. And I don't like the way it's prepared, but I like the meat that comes with like them the more tortillas? than I like the meat that comes with burritos. Yeah, I'm not really like big on the corn tortillas. I, don't I, know. I feel you. I have about, to have, and, also I the like, fact that and also the fact that they're like yeah, these tiny like... The fact that they're the, these oh, like, the tiny, tiny little fucking, street like, tor- taco tortillas. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Like, uh, <laughs> and it's co- and it's and all the time. Like every time I've been to a place, it's like like the tortillas like kind of the, t- the tortillas almost. I'd say I'm exaggerating maybe a little bit, but it's it's almost. It feels like it's almost fucking freezing, or like it's almost like st- not that it's stale, but like, I think it's the texture of like the, the the corn tortillas that bothers me. Where I'm like, I don't I don't mm. like this at all. But they're they're not. I don't know. I, I get a chicken burrito most of the time. I agree with you a lot of times, though, I, especially when it comes to those uh, corn tortillas for the tacos, where uh, they'll be they're already been prepared, and then they'll just warm them up for a few m- seconds, and it doesn't yeah. have like when you have a burrito and the way that flour tortillas cook, and how they'll brown a little bit and they'll be a little bit crispy. Where a flour tortilla is, I'll I'll take a flour tortilla over a corn tortilla any fucking day. Ever, forever, for all eternity. As a matter of fact, I would prefer them to make small flour tortillas for fucking tacos. That would be what I'm phenomenal. That'd be fucking phenomenal. That'd be so but. sick. Oh, yeah. like corn, like corn tortillas are better when they're heated up. But the thing is that they break a lot. They break fucking easily as shit in general. So it just yeah. depends on what I'm eating, right? Like I think flour tortillas are better just for. I think they're better. Every, made for like rolling every, things. Everything. Like they're just better for. I don't think they taste better. I, just, I don't. I think they taste better. better. Like a lot. Better. I think it tastes even better. Fry them. It's like, yeah. It is. Especially when you I, fry I think them. it tastes so much better that it's. It, it tastes so much better that it's wild. Actually, like I can't, I can't even believe that they're even considered the same type of object. <laughs> I think that I think that I think that flour is better for putting stuff in 100 percent because flour is just more malleable. So the I think like it just tastes better in general. In better. Like I would but love I if I think it were possible way, to make way, way, way flour chips. <laughs> you know, like like you see the tortilla chips, flour tortilla chips, but it's just that it would it wouldn't work that way. But they don't, I love, taste don't get good. me wrong, like, you gotta fry it. It's gonna be like it's not that it tastes good. It's the it consistency. Bad. It's flour. <laughs> it's the consistency. You know, like, chips don't taste. You, you, chips, you can't chips by themselves don't taste good anyway. Yeah, chips by themselves don't taste good either. Oh yeah, you like, like you never like, had, you had good tortilla chips. I don't know any madman. Look, the only tortilla chips that I'll even eat remotely them taste by themselves. Good. I don't eat them. I won't eat them exclusively by themselves. But some of them taste. They're pretty decent taste. They're like, oh, they're, this is a nice little salty texture. To they're okay. To it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's got to be because they like, the, like, they're salted. They're salted. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not eating. I'm not just eating lime. like straight up fried tortillas. No, that's like if some of them have, they taste pretty decently. They taste decent. Yeah, because there's but stuff on them. I can eat a tortilla, a flour tortilla with nothing. I can That's not. the thing, too. I could absolutely. We put them on the fucking weird. stove. Dude. We put them on the stove, warm them up, get them all nice and crispy, and just eat the fuck out of them. Some people put butter on them, but I don't I, even need butter. Delicious. I have I, absolutely I would not rolled and up a flour tortilla bland. by I, itself and 
ate and eaten it for sure. Absolutely. I 100. I could see people doing that, but I have some of the like I have the most bland taste buds that like I just like rice. I love rice. I'll just eat rice by itself. Sometimes I don't want anything with it because I just want a bland taste, and I wouldn't yeah. eat a tortilla by itself if I was too by itself. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's weird. so weird. You're just, you Why just have a freak? line. Why is that your line? <laughs> I'm not a, it, just, it feels weird because I feel like tortillas need something in them. <laughs> Coming from a person that ha- eats rice that has no fucking flavor. Sometimes rice is good, bro, because rice, rice has flavor. It's a very, very weak flavor. No, it's you're just tasting the fucking me. shit on your tongue. I feel like you've had... I feel like Kingston... I feel like, Casey, you were born with COVID, <laughs> and you can't <laughs> taste correctly. <laughs> I'm not, dude. My, my sense of taste... I like bland things also. No, the but Kingston, I that's what's... I also like bland foods. But that's what I'm saying, though. It's like... But that's a heated tortilla is kind of just flour, like, why would I eat it's this? It's not about a heated tortilla. Crazy, it's a flour dude. tortilla. Like, the ones that you would get for, for like, quesadillas and stuff, like, those... Th- there's a similar blandness in that flour ca- uh, tortilla that there is in rice, Plain rice or like any other bland thing. I don't think it's the same kind of blandness. Well, I mean, I feel like I can't taste the fact. The fact that you can't taste that is why I'm I'm suggesting that you were born with COVID and you were born incorrect. Because it's because the thing is that like I have a tortilla, right? I'm like, oh, this this plain tortilla is not going to be as great unless I put like something in it. I'll put something in this tortilla and it'll be very good. Rice is better with stuff in it, but it doesn't mean that rice with not like, by always. itself isn't also good. No, it, it sometimes rice not by always. itself. You're is right, the not shit, always. Dude. I guess you're right, not always. I guess you could theoretically shit diarrhea into the rice and it would be worse off. You are correct, but <laughs> I do think generally you can make good rice and beans, bean sauce, like some like uh, what is it, some sofrito and cilantro and some, and some red kidney beans and some good sauce and like some some all all the adobo maybe a little bit a little bit and then you put it in the rice and you get some really good beans and good sauce with the rice and it would be way better than just plain rice but plain rice is still very good and that's what i'm saying i agree but i've that's never think a plain about. tortilla is good i was like yeah, that's saying you know what i'm gonna fucking eat a tortilla no, but what's you, you, understand how, what's confusing. you understand how what's subjective co- what's that is though, right? me but what's it is it is subjective it is ultimately taste but like extremely it's confusing it's the most me? subjective thing that's happening right, right now but you're but not what talking in, that, like, in, in, in a subjective sense though but because I feel like no one's like, man, you know what? a nice side dish of a tortilla would no be delicious. People do that all the time, bro. Like they, I feel like growing, no, I feel like never anyone had done that. With my Mexican stepsisters, we would fucking heat up tortillas on the fire and eat the fucking tortillas because they're yeah, good dude, on their you own. Got, you got weird Rice. Mexican relatives. No, <laughs> you have fucking un- ones that are. I don't know what they're doing where they think chicken tacos are weird, like putting pollo and yeah, fucking. Yeah, none, yeah, of them, and, none of them eat it. None yeah, of them eat Like, that's the thing weird. is that no one eats it. They're weird. That's because they're, 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 like, that, right? no, like, their taste buds. Hold on, hold on. Their taste buds are all fucked up because they all probably drink piss. That's probably part of it. It's a whole family <laughs> tradition where they all drink piss. <laughs> they're, and now their taste buds are all more like. Up. They like BD. <laughs> they're like more. They like BD. They're more into uh, eating. They're like, they're like, they like beef people. And I'm like not. I'm not a red meat person more than I am a chicken person. I always just right, chicken right, right. over everything but, else. But like you're 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 a little bit you're a little bit fucked up too though because your your bland rice thing. Look at man, you can eat bland rice all you want, but to me, a little bit of salt on the because I'm a guy. Well, I have a little bit of seasoned salt, like a pinch. Well, you of have seasoned you salt have to salt and the sprinkle rice on my when rice, it. and it's fucking. See, I don't like doing that. I actually don't like tainting the rice while it's being made because when you add certain things, you add seasoning to while you're cooking will change the way it's cooked. People don't notice this. It's like smash burgers. There's a way that you want to cook smash burgers instead of what I normally people do with the meat is season the meat all in there and then cook your burger. When you're making smash burgers particularly so it can cook a specific way, you don't want to season it all the way through. It's, it's you got it's, there's little things you got to learn. And, and so you can just cook yeah. things in a specific way. So there's people that if like you, to salt you, their you, water you put a little bit and of then salt put the rice in, rice in, there. in a water so it doesn't clump. That's the only reason why you do it. You no. don't heavily salt don't have, it, but you I don't put have a problem little bit with my rice clumping. I don't. I'm not a fucking retard. So, <laughs> I don't well, know. <laughs> no, but that's how you. That's how you prepare. No, see, that's how people, you prepare rice. You don't overwash it. People usually overwash it and it clumps, and then all of a sudden it gets sticky and clumpy because they washed it for too fucking long before they started boiling it. It's just like it's simple little things of just rinse it real quick. Make sure your fucking temperature is good, or get a rice cooker. That's usually fix everything. But like, it, I don't get clumpy, soggy, fucking gross rice, man. My rice is awesome. And luckily, uh, JoJo knows how to cook rice too. Otherwise, I would have to, you know, discard her. She would have been gone a long time ago. Yeah. 
But, but yeah, you know, she's, she's all right. <laughs> <laughs> she's all right. She's, now she does she does salt yeah. it every once in a while, and I'm, I'm like, you know, it's it's a it's a different tactic. But as you long don't, as the you right, don't overly salt it, but like that, whenever right. you cook anything, it's a okay. starchy. It's when you cook things that are starchy. That's how you cook starchy things. You salt it a little bit so it doesn't always clump up together. That's how you like. That's how it's you make that pasta. Starch. That's how you make rice. That's Pasta's how you make. I don't know. Pasta is good for that. If you want everything to be nice and starchy thing. I don't know. Yeah. Quinoa. It's, I don't know. I've never cooked quinoa <laughs> yeah, before. I, don't, I, don't, I, I, I guess. I guess. Don't know. I guess. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing that that confuses me most about the rice and 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 tortilla thing in, in, in from your perspective, right? Because to me, I don't even think. Because bland rice has less taste than a plain than tortilla. tortilla. Absolutely. Like objective, like almost objectively. I no, feel like you could argue that objectively. No. It One definitely does. The amount of ingredients that go it. into making a tortilla, yeah, there's more flavor. I and don't to be fair, think that's true. And to be fair, that's I because flour tortillas like are unhealthy for you, and they're not very good. It's, it's the same reason why all bread is kind of, like, fucked, because there's, like, technically, like, some sugar in, in like, all bread um, and everything that we, yeah, like, use to, like, Especially make American anything bread. like that. And Holy, that's, that's a lot of sugar. Yeah, and that's... And that dude, what, what is it? Subway had the bread that was like classified as candy or something. Oh some yeah, nonsense in, like some, that. in some so, like, countries, in some countries, I think in the UK it wasn't classified as bread or some <laughs> shit. It's not bread. <laughs> that's, it's definitely not. But <laughs> that's, that's so funny. But that's why, like, there, there's that there's made definitely me more eat Subway taste. less, dude. You know what made me eat Subway less? The fact that Subway sucks. But I think, <laughs> yeah, I I, I, I think <laughs> r- rice by nature of being just a little bit less fucked with and less like you can't really like add sugar to i mean you could add sugar to rice after the fact i guess but like there's not really much you could do with rice to fuck with it pre-rice but there's a lot of shit you could do to fuck with a tortilla pre-tortilla and that's kind of what's what i'm talking about was like there's definitely more taste in a, in a plain tortilla than there is in plain rice like definitely well there's also just a just little bit more of, like, how ingredients with like we've made it it's just yeah. rice is just rice and to make a tortilla you need a few things for it to be a tortilla so there's going to be some flavor in it naturally because of some of the extra stuff you put together because you, you know your your baking powders and your you, some type of fat like lard or butter something like you got to put some things together to make that tortilla versus rice you just cook it but like Kingston you're actually eating salted rice so that's why there's some flavor to you where I I'm wouldn't like, say salted I would say it's it's slightly salted it's not like it's there's still no salt salted. to the taste there's, there's like, no it's, salt to the taste. It's, it's no, salted, yeah, I guess. I, I would, you're fucking... I would you, look at, look at. No, I, agree, not, I, I, agree I wouldn't say you're saying, salted. You're saying salted. you're putting, adding even a little bit of salt to something doesn't change the taste of it at all? Is that what you're telling me? I mean... No. Because having salt in something at a very minuscule amount isn't... Like, you wouldn't say... You yeah, wouldn't I, say I, when I you're making, saying, like... I would, br- say, like I, I would say I am confident that your taste buds are fucked. Because... The smallest no, bit of salt, I can find doesn't it. Doesn't radically in a change. Lot. Does it not? Does not radically change the flavor? I didn't say radically. You added the word radically. So, so what I'm, so what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Yes, I'm. Yes, Derek, you're right. It would change the flavor, maybe a minuscule amount. Yes, that's not enough, enough to, al- to 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 severely alter the taste of something. It's not severely altering you. Uh, nobody's using that language but you. Yes, but changing you're changing anything that at all is I'm changing, eating. dog. If something so slightly changed, you're still is changing very it. Diff- Derek, Kingston, Kingston, hold on. Saying, let's, let's relax. Like, are we not? Are we just not going to use? Are we just going to pretend you're words don't right, fucking mean anything now? Eric, Eric, Derek, you are right with the words you're using. Right, it definitely changes the taste of it. Right, but definitely not enough for me to be like, oh, this is different from like if I didn't put salt in it. It's not. I, it's not even a far I, removed I, distance I, I, from no, it. I, I would. It's I would, probably I, slightly. I, I 100 percent agree with and that we, purely because the salt the salt that he's talking about is like in the in the cooking stage to the point where like I've definitely like I've pu- I put salt in my rice all the time like specifically like specifically while I'm boiling it or like while I'm cooking while I'm exactly cooking it and like most sure, people do making sh- right right but uh, you say most when, people when the do, rice comes but you out don't know most people so shut the fuck up that's insane I mean well, I think I, I think I, I think it is I guess, standard. I guess because Chris and most I are both people, look, most people, people you know is fine to say way. most people know just like you were like oh Mexicans don't really okay, eat okay. chicken with tacos you're, and I'm like bro like, right. okay, I, I, okay, actually, okay, no, okay hold on hold on wait wait wait, wait. I would I would bet money I would bet mo- I would bet pretty much everything I own that the majority of people on earth who make rice make it that way where they where they put salt I would I would also I I don't know so I don't I wouldn't bet any money 
because I've I met people that say don't that do that. Considering both it's Chris fine. and I's family are from the same part of the world, yeah. that is probably why we both prepare rice the same way. Yeah, maybe. That's that a, is like, a maybe. safe bet. That's fine that's safe bet. to think, but to, to right. think you have so the what knowledge happens that you is most know people I know that prepare rice, weird. they put a little salt in it. They put a little salt in it. Whenever you, yeah. prepare, whenever you prepare something that has starchy ingredients in it, you should put a little bit of salt in it. That is something I mean, that I've known my whole life. I've known. Maybe yeah. not everybody does it. I I can't I can't say. I know that when I see like I've I've watched House Kitchen and when people are preparing like pasta, they do that everywhere I've seen. I've never seen anyone create pasta where they don't at least put a little bit of salt in the water while it's doing the whole boiling process. So I could yeah. be I could be some people could not be everybody. When I, when when you but that, do but that, wait, hold on. That's actually that's salt, actually a key. That's salt actually a key. Taste. That's a key point. That's a key point that you just mentioned because, like, you you you're talking about how like they put the salt in the in, in the pasta while they're boiling it, and then they take the pasta out. It doesn't mean that the pasta is now salted. It doesn't. It doesn't now mean that like oh you're going to taste the salt on the pasta because the salt's fucking gone. It's, it's not even what the salt is for really. Like you, See, the salt I've is ha- gone. I've salted. I've salted. I've salted my rice like while I'm cooking it, and then I've taken it out, and you taste it, and it tastes identical to rice that's unsalted. The only difference is it's not clumped. That's that's the only difference, because it's not enough like, salt I don't to get, really. Add I don't anything. get clump rice. So like I don't like I don't know because there's, like, there's salt in something guys, and salting it to the taste. Obviously, you know. So there, like, well, well, like, I don't get clump. I don't get clump rice. Like salt, sodas, you know, because I salt the fucking water. But you just water. said that you just said that you salt the water, and I don't. So clearly, there's another problem with the cooking process that doesn't have to do with salt. Because I don't do that, and I don't get clumped rice. That I don't get clumped rice either because I salt the water. But you, yeah. But now you're just being a dickhead. <laughs> you're not listening. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. So, 100. Yeah, that, that's fine. Dude. I you guess can be dickhead the process was just cooked, right? Because yeah. cook? I just I just texted okay. one of my Asian friends, asked like, "Hey, did you salt your rice?" He's like, "No, I don't salt. I don't salt rice when I'm making it." It's not. That's the whole thing. Is I don't know why people. You, you guys well, are feeling so confident what about Asians how people wouldn't, cook because they, it's they weird. No, no, but the, no, but age, that's Asian rice is supposed well, no, to be well, usually like, sticky though. No, it yeah, depends on what type of rice sticky. you're making. It's supposed to clump depending on what type of rice you're making. They don't always want clumpy rice. Like That's it insane. depends on the situation which you're cooking. Like only if you eat, wanted fucking only, rice only eat for sushi, rice. They, they, no, no, they only I eat worked clumpy with rice. Chinese people, they don't only eat clumpy rice. They only this they wake up in the morning, they gargle so clumpy rice. Ignorant, it's they, gargle, me nuts. they gargle <laughs> clumpy rice in the morning. They spit it out. They eat it in the morning. They fucking eat it for lunch. They eat it for dinner. They eat it and for breakfast. And they go to the CN factory. That's what you guys are really showing your your Latin American ignorance. Where you're like, no, the world works this way. It's this way. I mean, I mean, we got some of the, the best thing I would on the planet, is, bro. And if, <laughs> yes, if you okay. if you salted your pasta or whatever you're doing, it's not going to change it drastically. Here's the thing: I feel like a lot of people don't realize how fucked up their taste buds are because they don't properly like brush their tongue and shit. Because I've heard people say things like, "Oh, this water tastes gross. This water tastes gross." And yeah, there is like say some chemicals in water that you would want because that's naturally occurring in natural spring water. But when I hear people say water tastes gross. And it's just a little salted with just like minerals, something that would just be considered a little salty that changes water other than like, say, having a distilled water. I always say, are you sure your mouth's not full of like something that's making the water seem gross to you? Because the shit that's in your mouth is going to change the flavor of water. I like, mean, people, some water is gross. Though. People some don't like does not to me. The only thing good. that's gross is like tap water that has a bunch of other stuff that's not naturally occurring in water. Where now it tastes fucking yeah. gross to me because it tastes like pennies or blood or something versus Ew. a fucking spring. <laughs> like a metallic, you know, the, when you taste blood, yeah. it's just the, the, the fucking, me- you know, it tastes like has yeah, a metal it tastes, taste it to like it. Nickel. Salty and metal. Yeah, yeah. So like in, a, in a similar way where I've had so many different waters and they all mm-hmm. taste very similar because they have this similar natural occurring type of, um, of um, chemicals in them. And when people say like, oh, this is disgusting, I'm more like... Well, there's probably, you know, this is a very almost tastes like nothing type of thing. Have you had Arrowhead water before? Yes, I have. Arrowhead heard, does not taste very good, like genuinely. I just, I've, I've heard it people doesn't say taste that. very good. I've heard people say that a lot. And then I'm like, all right, I, 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 I am, I'm not very confident with a lot of things. I can 100% grab a lot of different fucking spring waters and be like, tell me which one's which. And I guarantee most people, I the only people you, that won't fail... I, I the people do that it. just guess correctly. I can do it. I, I definitely. Can, I can tell. I can when tell I the ones back, that drink. When I move right? back, like, we're gonna put that to the test. One thousand percent. I can. I, I can it. tell Poland spring it. water. One thousand. I can tell Poland spring water. Yeah. I can tell maybe Aquafina. I can tell Smart Water. 
But like I know when I meet the moment, I like I, I have a like, bottle of water right here, right next to me. Yeah. This water, it doesn't have weird taste to me anymore. When I first started drinking Kirkman water, it tasted weird to me at first, right? I feel like I would only drink Poland spring water. So I was just gonna be like, oh, this is a weird, t- weird taste of water to me. Now it doesn't taste funny to me at all. But I know when I drink Arrowhead or when I drink like, um, there's another one of the um one of the waters that's like one of the charged waters. I forgot what it's called. It's like uh, I don't know. It's like an alkaline water. Mm. Like when I I've first drank like, that, I could I knew it was a weird taste. It's like it's a strange, but it wasn't exactly a, bad. There's but a Hawaiian I know 100% volcano. Arrowhead tastes bad. Like I will I, stand on that. I'll yeah, be I able see, to taste it out of, out of a group of water. I'm like that's well, Arrowhead. The thing I feel weird. about that because I've heard people say that. I just I I know I think I, I guess I'm a little bit more like I try to like pay attention to to human psychology, and I feel like there's this like zeitgeist that because you think something that's going to taste bad let's just say like everybody says it tastes bad why the fuck is it one of the most drank waters and one of the most popular if it if it if it really tastes bad i i think sometimes people kind of have to step back and be like is it a me thing and i feel like most people won't do that because their ego gets in the way they're like no it's I don't me think, i think it's a me i think water i think water is just so i think water water is so necessary and so cheap that i think people can't afford can't they can't really like why be picky at that level, I guess, and also they they well, don't really like, have many. And and to be fair, Arrowhead. A lot of different water, actually. I don't like Arrowhead at all, but I do think it's just kind of one of those things. It's like, so what are you gonna get times. other? What are you gonna get other than Arrowhead? Like, you're gonna get fucking. You're not gonna get something so much better than Arrowhead over here that it's going to matter. Yeah. So you might as well just get the fucking Arrowhead. You're not gonna spend more money on the smart water, even though it's better because it's expensive. Like, why would you fucking bother? Like, why would you, why would you, why would you do that? It's water. Like, like for instance, right? Like why, me and Chris yeah. both would, would drink Poland spring water. That doesn't yeah. exist over here at all. It just, it just but dude, isn't I here. Thought, but dude, you know what's funny though? I didn't, when yeah. I was younger, I didn't, I didn't really like water that much. Like, I, like I didn't like Poland spring. Like I, did, I drank it when I had to, but like, it wasn't something that I was like, yeah. Oh man, I could really use a, I could really use a bottle of water because in, I always felt like, Oh, it's a liquid that doesn't taste like anything. Why would I choose this liquid over the other liquids that mm-hmm. taste like good things? That's a kid's mindset. Really is all it is. It's just sure. like, why the fuck would I, why would I indulge in anything that is bland? Why the fuck would I do that? Uh, when yeah, this yeah. world of sugar and deliciousness awaits me everywhere I turn. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. didn't like water really at all. And then I moved out here and on our drive out here at Poland Spring, like, we needed to have water. And as we got further and further away, we had, like, it got replaced with, like, Arrowhead. And I remember drinking the Arrowhead water and being like, what the fuck? This tastes so much worse than I... Like, I used to think I Poland Spring tasted bad... And now I'm having this. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on over here? And then when I had Poland Spring again, I was like, oh, my God, it's so good. So I didn't even have like a bias towards Poland Spring. I, I t- genuinely didn't even like it. And now I love it. But I wouldn't buy it now because I just have a filter. There's no point. Yeah. But- it's, it's so it's it's fascinating to me, like, uh, especially when it comes to like the the chemical. It, it's just it's such a thing that I feel like uh, there's got to be psychology to it. Too. In, in, and the, yeah, in the future, there's going to be like people are going to realize that. Well, I mean, it's already a major scam industry, blah, blah, blah. Like fucking what is it nowadays? What is it nowadays? The only thing I would say is people stay away from tap water. If you're in um, most places, uh, <laughs> just, just stay away from stay it. Stay away from tap water. You know, like stay away from tap water. If you're somewhere other than probably like Manhattan, NYC, stay away right, from tap yeah, water. Probably NYC. Stay away from tap yeah. water. Everywhere Maybe even else. there too, low key. Maybe even there too. Stay away from me, you know. There's so many places. I just I wouldn't do it just Dude, I, because. I was drinking out of the, you don't it, know when what I was the hell when I was at doing. the when I was at the New York show. I was drinking water out of the out of the sink in my hotel, and it was so good. And I was like, "What the fuck is going on here?" <laughs> it's. I understand that it has to be. It. I understand that it has to be for just like sanitation purposes. Like I understand that it has to be like top top of the line water because otherwise people would die because contaminants would spread so quickly throughout that city that it's it, it would it would make the plague look hilariously small in comparison. But <laughs> it's still weird to me that it it tastes so good just yeah. coming out of the sink. It's fucking weird. But yeah. I don't Yeah, yeah. we should move on. We should yeah. get some get to some more yeah. questions. <laughs> uh <laughs> Frank and two brothers says hello stank wank and Chernobyl stench currently working on a video on how to body box a ghost if you had to do so how would you go about it and who would you challenge body box a ghost what does that mean 
What do you mean? So who, fucking, how would like, we go uh, about it and who would we challenge? Do we have to fight so like challenge and ghost? mean exactly? Is that some fucking uh what's the what's the Ghostbusters shit or something? Sounds like some Ghostbusters shit. Yeah, I, uh, we're not going to answer your question because I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I, 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 oh, I have no idea what body by. I, see, I thought boxing, like fighting, like just punching body box F PFS. OK, so I'm looking up body boxes right now. Yeah, I don't understand. You're just trying to trap a ghost. Or are you trying to go Who blow for blow with a b- ghost? Yeah, are you just bo- like? It's, does he mean the actual art of like just punching, bo- like no headshots? So just just body boxing. Like, that must be what Frank it means. Like if you're gonna, I would, Frank choose, I would I would choose Ali after he died because he's already pathetic. He's already shaking and stuff. He's already Dang, pathetic. Dude, that's what crazy. A word to use. <laughs> what you a think word his ghost is still shaking? Yeah. Ali. Then I beat up Ali. Then I beat up fucking Ali. I beat up shaking Ali. Kingston, do you think his ghost is still shaking? <laughs> probably. Probably causing a ruckus up there. <laughs> hey, you they put him in the box and the box is moving. And they gotta lower him and he's slowly making a bigger. <laughs> Remember, if slurring, Stephen, Hawking, slowly... Stephen Hawking, provided that he didn't molest uh, children on Epstein's Island, um, if he's in heaven, is he. Is he still broken? Like, is he. Because he doesn't have the chair still. Because the chair is not alive, so he's either locked in so that position as a floating. In he so he's either like locked in that seated position as a floating ghost, or he's fine. Because, but he can't oh, have the mm. chair, right? I don't know. I th- I think. I think he's haunting. Who who did he? Uh, he's haunting. Didn't he? Didn't he go to uh, prison? For uh, protesting the Vietnam War, and then they they revoked his license for a minute. I feel like he's probably haunting. Well, he's dead now. Um, uh, who's he haunting? People, other people that were involved. Who was the president during the uh uh at the beginning of the Vietnam War? Was I like should JFK? know this. I should know. <laughs> Wasn't it JFK? In I the think beginning? JFK <laughs> was. I don't think it was when it started. It was yeah. I was like yeah. <laughs> like, you, you I gotta, love I love you meeting people. I love meeting people who like have no clue about like look I'm not like a historian I I don't know that much about history but like some some of the guesses that people make about like when certain presidents were around even is wild like people I I met I talked to somebody recently who genuinely thought Lincoln was alive like in the 40s or something that's not true I'm not even remotely kidding. Like, <laughs> it like might a be guess. Uh, there's, there's, it was like, a guess. Like, people don't know. Somebody said something. We were having a conversation. <laughs> and someone's like, oh, that, that's Lincoln times. Man. That's, that's, a, that's like the 40s and shit. That's like the roaring 30s or whatever. And I'm like, yo, it's the roaring 20s first off. The, like, thing, the thing is that if you don't know history, if you do not know history, right, it in general makes no fucking sense. That's yeah. the thing. You if you don't know history, if you don't like study it. Cause before, before is always before you, and you don't care by nature because it's so much before you. <laughs> that, that if you is, don't make yeah. an effort to give yeah. a fuck about it, you never care. It's before I was around, right? I've definitely like, had think theories of, like, the, where, like, I thought, like, I, I think it's because everything that happened before I was born is entirely hypothetical to me. <laughs> it's like it's entirely like removed from my existence. I always assume that there's a there's a slight likelihood, maybe even a ten percent chance, that none of it really happened, or that if it did happen, it's all been very, very deeply misremembered. Like it wouldn't surprise me if, like mm. historically, like you know, you know these like really grand historical figures, like people who like who've accomplished like all oh, these crazy things. You know, oh like my god! Dennis the like, yeah, like Dennis the Menace, <laughs> like Dennis, yeah, Dennis the Menace, exactly, like Dennis the Menace when he uh, when <laughs> like he menaced Dennis. when he menaced all over the place. There was <laughs> like when he menaced that guy till he killed himself. That guy fucking took his own life. He bothered neighbor, him, and the guy was like, "Literally, leave me alone now." <laughs> and he wouldn't leave him alone, and the guy blew his own fucking brains out. <laughs> he fucking hauled his own cranium out. He wouldn't leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, what are you saying I about <laughs> He, but yeah, hey, I don't know. Think about the um. <laughs> what you think well, about hold the? On, hold on, I was thinking. I was. Th- okay, go, 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 go. Let me fin- let me let me finish this one thing because, like, I think it's possible that these these figures in in history who have 
usually a lot of accomplishments are attributed to one person in history. And I'm like, is that true? Or is that like a couple different people that they just mm. didn't really care to get? You know what I mean? Like that they just didn't really care to get the the paperwork done for. So they were just like, let's just throw them all. Let's just throw this all on Lincoln because it's like whatever. You, you, <laughs> you know what's <laughs> interesting? If, that's more. It's that's probably more likely the case because. As, as we've gotten older, we've learned so many different interesting things in history, like even like the age of humans, of like when humans first, what we believed, how old humans are, like just lazy shit, yeah. where it's like they discovered other things, and, and you talk about paperwork and not wanting to change things, like, ugh, fuck, you know, and other people don't want their discover, uh, their discoveries to be diminished, so they're just like, eh, yeah. they'll just leave things alone, and you know what I just found out the other yeah. day? The Wright brothers, the Wright brothers fucking uh, uh supposedly uh, allegedly stole their idea from this nigga that had a prototype on a way to a train to a competition like he had the first prototype of this fucking working plane was it a and black they, dude actually yeah 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 so uh, as this brother and he was like this is gonna be the shit i'm gonna win this prize probably a hundred thousand dollars or whatever and all of a sudden his shit disappeared and never made it to where it was supposed to well, go <laughs> can we can we take a can we take a moment can we take a moment to really understand how much how much shit was invented or created by black people in america and how much uh, we are just uh, not yeah. taught that like we're just not taught the truth uh, just, I don't know about there's that. a lot of interesting Dude, things I really, man i really i really did not know that like american music in general like as a whole was created by black people i thought like oh no white people made some of it and then it's like well, it, well that's it objectively is, true. Um, not it is it they is made interesting to be one of stuff. Kingston, 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 you can't one group of no, people no, didn't no, invent no, no, everything. No, 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 like a lot of a lot of the a lot of the major genres of music in in, in American music were created like by black people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, techno techno is one, right? But like <laughs> most of the ones yeah. that we are like that are our kind, our music is made by them, and it's just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy look, shit, the, a look, lot it, of them are. Yeah, yeah, look, I'll give it's you the pretty peanut. unanimous. You can have, you can, like pretty you can have the unanimous. Peanuts. You can have the you peanut. can have the peanuts. Just, just Chris, why, the Chris, peanut. it's Chris. It's true <laughs> though. Like, <laughs> like it's not a lie. That's the thing. No, I don't give a you shit. guys I really made really peanut butter. Less. You guys made peanut butter, and that's like, and yeah, we you, gave you all that gonna, in the books. You all right, gonna have peanut butter. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, I wanted it's to bring crazy. up this. Uh, I was like, wow, that's weird. Do Folk you guys music? Well, we made that. We made country music. Wow. Well, anything, we made like, jazz, R and B, soul. Whoa. We made rock and roll. Wow. Uh, what else? Anything that was like soulful and so, like you know had a lot of whatever. We don't need to get into that shit. But I want to ask you guys about. Do you remember like that conspiracy? Drawing. Do you guys huh? remember that conspiracy theory between uh, uh, John Wilkes Booth and Lee Harvey Oswald? Do you guys Do you guys know about that? No. Like the 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 parallels and like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. like the whole like the oh, coincidences are you about, like the parallels, but but yeah, are you people are like the parallels convinced? between Lincoln and uh, uh, Lincoln's assassination, oh and Kennedy's assassination. So like John Wilkes Booth yeah. and fucking uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. Um, Who was I, I just, talking to? Do about you remember that? them? I spoke to someone about that recently. About like why don't they just pin it on black people to make everybody we're, think that we're black people still that you? We're talking about. The, I we're was getting scared. I was getting scared. I was like. This is no. not happening again, right? This is not the same happening. I'm getting scared. <laughs> On the last podcast, we were talking about, um, well, we were talking about how, how maybe I'm believing less in conspiracy theories and and some of the wild shit that has happened. We we're talking about Lee Harvey Oswald for for example, because we we're saying, imagine we had a crystal ball and you get to experience uh, life and you know all these what ifs, and seeing how bad would things be for Black Americans? Say, for example, if uh, Lee Harvey Os Oswald was black. Like if 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 they so like they the, this president this beloved president was blasted by this black dude and how much worse would things be? Would we have reached the civil rights movement? Would there have been ever? Uh, would the Klan be? Like, would there be a, a a president like a Ku Klux Klan president where he has the hood and given an address because of that one singular incident or something? And it made me think just dark futures, bro. If, just... if there was a conspiracy theory and he was just a patsy, wouldn't you use a, a like a black person? Wouldn't it be way easier to just use some dopey white guy that fucking was a so, sympathizer for uh, the Soviet Union or some shit? Yeah. 
So so here's here's so here are the list of I think this is what you're talking about, right? Some of these are like a little yeah, the, silly, the, and some of the, some of these some of these get into a like uh, astrology territory. Like the first one is like Lincoln and Kennedy both have seven letters. It's like ah, okay, whatever. But uh, both presidents were elected to Congress in '46. Later to the presidency in '60. Both assassins, John Wilkes Booth and Lee Harvey Oswald, were born in '39 and were known by their three names, <laughs> composed of 15 letters. <laughs> Booth ran from a theater and was caught in a warehouse. Oswald ran from a warehouse and was caught in the theater. The assassins were both Southerners. Uh, yeah, that is kind of interesting. Yeah, uh, both of the president's uh, successors were Democrats named Johnson with six-letter first names, born in 08. That's kind of that's weirdly specific. Uh, both Lincoln and Kennedy were partic- particularly concerned with civil rights, made their views strongly known. Eh. Both presidents were shot in the head on fr- on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lincoln had a secretary named Kennedy. This is the this is the one that was inter- most interesting to me. Lincoln had a secretary named Kennedy who told him not to go to Ford's Theater. Kennedy had a secretary named Evelyn Lincoln, and she warned him not to go to Dallas. That's like, kind of nuts. On. Some that's of these really cool. That's are crazy, that's dude. Unsettling. <laughs> yeah, like and some both of that is really were, unsettling. Uh, that's that, really that's, unnerving, man. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know see, how true see, that's that the thing is because these me are just, a little bit. That yeah. is a good point. I feel like at this point, Wikipedia would not have that up if it, if because that's so wildly easy to to check. I guess if you cared, right? I imagine that yeah. right now there would be like a dispute if it wasn't true. By now, like it's what twenty twenty four. This conspiracy has been around for so long. Of these things, I've saw this shit like before. I had what do you call it? A uh, dial up. I remember seeing shit like this when when we had dial up, and just being a kid, like, well, it's just crazy. And yeah, now thinking about it again. A couple of those things are so crazy that it almost feels like I always say when things get so fucked up or when when somebody does like uh, we, we mentioned the Easter thing that just happened recently where it happened to fall on trans uh, 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 visibility day or uh, rec- whatever it's called. It fell oh, on yeah, the 31st yeah, yeah. and then the rhinoids were like, oh, they're they're taking away our Easter. And it's like, you, this is too dumb. I can't. It, I think it lends to our fucked up sim- my fucked up simulation theory. We're in a simulation and it's broken because it's doing things that should be so impossible. That like say you know how you can't if your code's broken, your NPCs aren't gonna work properly. It doesn't matter how much you interact with them, they're just broken. And I feel like these people are broken. And I feel like like when you when you when you these you compare some of this Lincoln shit, that's easily programmable. To have, uh, you know, to have these things and just to fuck with you're people. You're out of pocket. Because it's you're so, out of pocket. You're, it's so you're, crazy, you're, though. <laughs> but don't you think some people are just impossibly dumb? We're like, you can't. You're veering off, Derek. You're veering off. Come on, you're, brother. You you have to agree with me that some people are impossibly dumb. Like, they're just impossible. Do, they're so stupid agree. that you feel like it should be impossible. See, my but theory, it's not my theory is that intelli- if you my theory, them. You know, my theory is my theory is that human intelligence is a shared cloud of bandwidth and that the more of us there are, the stupider mm. each of us I like is. It. So you believe that there like is an that. overall amount of intelligence, period? I kind of like that theory. No, I just think that's I think interesting. that's so stupid. <laughs> that's so insane. <laughs> I kind of like that theory, See, man. That, why, why weren't cavemen ast- astronomically intelligent? Well, they, they just didn't couldn't need tap to be. into the potential. The potential is there. Why would they be able to? It, it, Think of it no, as a Casey, bank. You're misunderstanding. Have to, have to... You're misunderstanding. Yeah, yeah, this is what we are at. Is not this is not intelligence. Having technology around us is not. It's actually the thing that's going to destroy us. That's 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 the wisdom in it. It's like they were smart enough to know that certain things are not to be trifled with. They were smart enough to be like, okay, I I'm going to. Just... I kill. I kill deer. <laughs> I eat deer. I raise sun to kill deer. I I die. That's it. That's fine. Is good I for me. Die. I know sad. I know depressed. Me never sad or depressed. Me just scared. What do you sound like an Eastern European afraid. now? <laughs> is that what they sound like? I go to. I they go sound to like God. cavemen to you. That's I go crazy, to God. Derek. Well, I do. They, I do all these sorts of things. Works, I though. walk through the woods. I walk through the woods. I kill the bears and I eat the children. Like they, <laughs> like they don't the, say. I me. don't eat the big bear. The big They'll bear say, no good. Go the children car. bear is good. Like in their language, it is normal how they would say things, but when it's translated to us, it sounds like a caveman because they would be like, "I go car," or like, "I leave, yeah. I leave now." Like they don't that's say, crazy. "I'm going to leave now." That's, that's not how their language works. That's why we have works. the biggest army. So we have the biggest army military. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly why yeah, no, exactly. we have the biggest army. No, I, do, I don't, I don't believe <laughs> we have the most guns. <laughs> I don't believe that we have a shared cloud of intelligence, but I do think it's, I do think it's a funny idea. Because it would explain why there are yeah. so many, like, because the, the, as pop, as the population skyrockets, it explains why um, so many people are so incomprehensibly stupid. 
Um, it's too in much ways for me, that man. like in ways that I don't remember being true when I was a, when I was a kid. Really, like there are stupid I adults and stupid shit. politicians. No, no, no. I, it's not that we didn't know shit. It's that I do think that's that's partially true. I, I also think we just have a unique like we're, we're in a middle. position we're right. In the we, we, we are saw. we are in a we are we are in a historical position right now where like most people just are free to make asses of themselves. Like Elon Musk in the '90s probably wouldn't have wouldn't have seemed so stupid because he just would have he would have had fewer ways and fewer avenues with which to express that stupidity to the broader public you know what i mean like he's a fucking elon musk is a fucking idiot he's a savant in some ways like he's like he's he's really smart in very specific things and that's it i actually he's really good at hiring the right people to do things for him i would would uh, when when he had competent people he's actually done he's actually done an insane amount that's objectively true. He's not done anything. He's had people Derek, do it for Derek, him. He's actually, he's actually a pretty pretty wise business dude. So man. here's he, the thing. He, he the hires the right stu- people, man. The amount of stuff. The, the, make, hiring the right people. You think he's over. Like, the fact that you would it's think not he's, not he's, I'm not he's doing that is Casey, so I'm not say, fucking it, it, stupid. It's wild. No, no, no. no. It's not we're, not just denying this. we're not what saying, we're not saying right that now? he's doing all. The, we're not saying he's doing no, all the fucking heavy bro, lifting or that he's brother. like particularly like amazing. Let it's me ask just, you a question. He specifically did a lot of interesting things. Let me ask you a question. I, I don't think he's done anything interesting. I think uh, people right, around him have done interesting things like, that he's interested in. I feel like you're overcorrecting. He has the money. I feel like you're overcorrecting. You're swinging on the pendulum to the other side. I don't think I'm saying. People right, who right. have resources and they're interested in interesting things can can appear to do interesting things. If you wanted to fund right. like electric cars or certain type of rockets and you have the you have the money to do it, you have government subsidies to do it, you can do yeah. it. We can't. Yeah. So right. I don't get so somebody who's fucking born of an emerald mine and a Nepo baby, I don't give yeah. them credit for doing this shit because a lot of people okay, would do really cool right, shit if they had the opportunities to do it. So to me, to yeah, be like that's, to, that's to act like though. Elon Musk is somebody different, I don't. I disagree with that. I just what think do you mean that he's one of the people. What that, do you mean somebody different? What do you mean? What does that mean? Like he's like like he's unique. I don't think he is. I just think that he's somebody who has a lot of money. And he's just doing interesting things with his money, like yeah. a lot of other people have done throughout history. And I think he's propped himself up nicely to be like this godsend and be like he's like Iron Man or some shit. So much that they put him in a fucking movie with them. Yeah, no, I just feel like I wouldn't, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go that far. He's not Iron Man. He's a fucking but, like look, but a lot of but see yeah, that but I that's think, the aura that he's given off to a lot of people. And I'm not saying you guys think that particularly. Yeah, but, that's but crazy. you still give him. I still feel like you guys give him more credit than he actually deserves, just from my opinion. From There are I mean, people, there I'll are engineers him, that I'll have had conversations him with him publicly, and they're like, you're a fucking right. idiot. Like, they, they yeah, know, yeah. he's not doing anything. He doesn't know okay. what, when they, when they, when people ask him about the ins and outs of, like, engineering, he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Like, so what did he do? Where's the what credit would you give I him? I feel like I feel like he he I feel like Jamie. I don't, I don't think he's a I don't I, I used to think by way more of him. I used to think way higher of him than I do. Of course, before. I was deceived Granted, too. I thought I thought he was smart. I did. I used to think he was smart because obviously Tesla is a very impressive company. SpaceX is another impressive fucking company. Uh, PayPal to a certain extent. its own way as well. Um, he sold yeah, it off before he had anything yeah. to do with it. He sold That's it off before it became different. PayPal. But like. Before but it became like, what it is now. But, but I understand but, what you're saying. Like, he was involved in some incredible stuff. Like, I, I would never take that away from him. But as far as him being, like, the guy that's, like, making the, the good... Like, I think Twitter is a great example of, like, oh, here's Twitter, Elon going Twitter off on his own and trying... Is. Right, it's yeah. him trying to actually do things without real help. It showed, like, this is what yeah. he's actually capable of. And right, Tesla but, is actually not nearly as good as it can't... Teslas are not nearly as good as they should be. He's lied about no, every fucking bad. thing that he said that was gonna happen. As far as like, like even you know, even SpaceX is kind of it, the the progression is so fucking slow. And he's like, oh, like by th- in two years we should already be on Mars, like doing great things already w- uh, with his trajectory. Everything is bullshit. There's great channels that you know document all the stuff that he says and just how he's lied about literally everything. And uh, like Thunderfoot, you guys remember that dude? You remember Thunderfoot? No, oh, yeah, yeah. He uh, he he just documents a lot of the stuff and laughs at him, and uh, he actually makes really good videos. And of course, Elon Sims get all mad at him, but I'm like, bro, you, you can't dispute anything. Elon says something, and then it doesn't come. Oh, Cybertruck is literally a hundred times more than it's supposed to be. 
A hundred percent. No, sorry. A hundred percent. Yeah. Excuse me. hundred percent more than it was supposed to be. And it's a piece of shit. There's people that are making videos of it just breaking down as soon as they fucking accelerate. It's just like his shit is not. It's there's a facade. I Tesla's just feel like bad. he's one of the biggest frauds in history. I, 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 think I don't Tesla's, give Tesla's him. were good cars. I think what happened was Some of them he are started okay. making them too. He started making too many of them. And he started promising too much to the shareholders. Yeah. And then they became yeah. shitty cars. That's They're, what happened. Th- of course. The, and, old, the 2012 Teslas were insane. Those were insane cars to be in at that time. And I was like, holy shit, they're wild. And then it, he was like, definitely we're going to make more. And obviously he started making them too quickly because make he had to save like, them to make more. Yeah. And, and he started cool. shittier. It, yeah. There's, yeah. yeah like, I, I don't know. I, I do think. I do think there are certain things about like and and to be fair, it might be a sense of um uh-huh. I can't remember where I heard this phrase before, but there's like there's a certain uh there's a certain brilliance in ignorance where like he, like there's there's bets that he made on t- on on uh SpaceX, right? Where like they were like irresponsible uh-huh. bets. Like to the point where it's like, oh, if, if this if this launch didn't work, then the whole company would have been completely fucked and it was like really unwise to like bet that much of the company on like this single launch and then it worked. And it just just serendipitous, like the, a really stupid decision ending up like really positively just by sheer coincidence ends up working for I the benefit of the f- company. I would have and I think to you fact, need some I would have to level verify that. That's that. I mean, that's that's because just true. He has but government think, money backing him. I just don't think so. Well, I think they would just give him more money. Well, that, that's this is ages ago. This is a long time ago. But like, I do think. I don't know, man. I feel like <laughs> ultimately, ultimately, what you have is, and I don't think. By the way, I understand what this comparison is going to sound like, but this is not what I'm trying to say, right? But uh-huh. there are certain people who are smart in certain avenues who are very, 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 very stupid. And like one of the the person that I think of specifically is like Isaac Newton. You know, I'm not saying fucking Elon Musk is like Isaac Newton. I'm You're just not using trying to, Isaac I, 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 as an I understand example. what you mean. Hmm? Where yeah, like know, Isaac Newton was like a, like a brilliant mathematician, but then he also believed in fucking alchemy and just the dumbest shit the dumbest shit probably he put like mercury behind his eyes and all sorts of weird yeah, he shit he did some fucking cool things. moron invalid idiot. that's most geniuses though history they're off they all well, come to problems they're trying, unfortunately. They're trying yeah. things right. and what i would say and, and what i would say about elon musk yeah. is i w- i wouldn't say that elon musk is a genius i would say that he i would say on certain in certain key areas he is smarter than average and in other areas he is very stupid like stupider than most people could ever hope to hope to be and he also happens to have hope that to set <laughs> he also has that specific set of like mental bullshit in the body of someone who was born <laughs> into a family with diamond mine money and all like a ton of pr- you know what i mean like so it, it kind yeah. of like, it's like a perfect storm of you bullshit that kind of leads to somebody emerald mines is different yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah fucking emeralds, shut up. But yeah, for the autistic emeralds people, different. yeah, for the autistic people, sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Emeralds, shut the fuck up. Yeah. But uh, but the only thing I would give him is I would say he's driven. I would say that's his biggest asset. He's driven, and when you have a lot of resources, when you literally that's have what it is, yeah. people siphoning money from people, government subsidies, and people trying to think that he built his fucking empire by himself. No, he didn't. Of course he didn't. Yeah, no the way. The two biggest companies no he have are fucking subsidized. So I'm just like, I can't give this nigga credit in other avenues because a lot of people can do amazing things in this situation. We just don't have the opportunity to do it. And so, but he is driven. That's true. He's 100% driven. I'll, I'll give him that. Like, because there's a lot of people yeah. that do have money that don't do what he's doing because they don't have that interest. So I, I, I'll just give him that the drive, it's but a shame. I just don't. It's a shame that he's also so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's if but, he was like really because you have people like Bill Gates that are actually doing some good work, like say trying to fucking eradicate malaria or things that and like making vaccines, and then you have dummies that think that he's trying to kill and call the populations. Where because when he gave a speech talking about well that would inevitably be effect if people are living better, they don't breed as much. The cop, the population will slow down when disease is not ravaging people and people are living in desolation and poverty. And then they took that other he part. He wants of what, us to die. And I'm just like, I can't. This this world is too fucked. People are trying to help, and then they think they're actually killing the world. And I'm like, and then there's Elon Musk that'll be like, Yeah, that's true. That is true. And he knows it's not true. Fuck that nigga, Big man. Facts. He knows that, yeah, 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 Dude, that's what he is jo- now. Him on Joe Rogan make now. me so upset. Oh, him God. and Joe Rogan make me so upset when they talk to him. I'm like, you guys are both, you guys are both he's definitely so, smarter than he's this. So no, he's so specifically, he's so specifically, 
the <laughs> Elon Musk episode of Joe Rogan really blew my mind because I was like, wow, there's no charisma to be seen here. Like it actually Whoa, made every it, it actually made all of his accomplishments seem way more impressive to me because the idea that somebody with that level of just <laughs> anti charisma could get anywhere, <laughs> even with money, is astounding. Like I don't, I've never met. Like there's nobody. I don't. I don't know anybody who is less charismatic than Elon Musk is. Sincerely, like there is none. <laughs> well. None. Like a vacuum. Al Gore. It's almost Al like Gore. he's Al- almost. Al Gore's pretty bad. No, okay, no, Al even Al Gore. Bad. Al Gore at you least was on Al fucking Gore- South Park. Like, the, the, I don't know. <laughs> Al Gore that's is Al, I, Al Gore. That's, that's, <laughs> that's Matt and Trey's depiction of Al Gore. That's not fucking Al Gore. That's that is Al so Gore. Insane. That, that was, was Al Gore. Him? That was. That was a live That's action not Al Gore. Actually Al Gore. Shut up. You shut are up. fucking <laughs> full, shut up, full metal sweet uh, Sheen. <laughs> That's this, real. This is what this is what happened. This is what happened. Right? Is oh my god. Did you, people are did you guys fucking see? Wait, hold on, hold on, right hold on. Now. Did you guys see? <laughs> what did you guys see? This this fucking I can't believe I forgot to talk about this. This fucking they found what is it, a gopher, like a beaver or something? Like so, some species or of like some fucking some animal like that. I don't know what the fucking phylum or genus is or whatever. That has adapted to eat cars. That's what's up, dude. That's Do you understand like where we're at? Do you understand where we're at right now? We're fucking. There's a fucking Honda Civic being eaten by a <laughs> fucking malignant mouse somewhere in fucking like Colorado it. or whatever the fuck. That is upsetting. We need that, dude. That's evolution, bro. Yeah, it's like we need all That's the plastic eating hell. animals to like do work for us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need that. We need those guys yesterday. The plastic eating shark. <laughs> yeah. It just the comes out of the ground shark. and eats a bunch of the plastic and then just goes back in the water. And it's like, whoa, it's turning that into fuck photo phytoplankton. This is insane. The yeah, world's we'll healing. There. We'll get there. We'll yeah. get there, man. We won't. We'll be we won't. dead. We'll die. We'll, we'll be dead, but we'll, we'll, we'll get Why there Why don't some, we just point. take the plastic and shoot it into space or, or catapult <laughs> it into the sky? So then eventually like, we do, ruin like, why somebody else. Why don't we do else? that? Like, why does that not happen is my question. We had this, we, we're we not having the space If we had the capability, again. if we had the capability, we would. It, we, guess, would right? we just can't We do would it, only do it, it, like, say, in pandemic situations where, like, the world has to work together. It shows you, even though people thought, you know, all the dummies thought it was a conspiracy, it just shows you. When the world works together, we can get shit done. It's like the getting the mRNA vaccines the up and running, tested, and then be like, this shit works. Let's roll them out. And then they work like 97, 90-something percent effectiveness of doing what they're supposed to do. And then there's people being like, oh, this is scary. They just did. I'm like, yeah, dude, when people pull the resources together and everyone's working on this singular thing, we can really get some shit done. But the world doesn't work that way when we're not in immediate danger. And that's fucking stupid. We always- could eradicate all plastics from the world. We could do it. But mm. it's not an immediate threat. So fucking who gives a shit? And that's why I'm like, bro, I so I wish those fucking dumb rednecks would just rise up and really take over. Like really and be like, all right, now we're gonna do direct democracy and everybody gets to fucking vote on the instead of having a representative that's just gonna be bought and paid for. It's like all right, like they're, they're this, man, I I give up, bro. I'm back to my simulation theory. Whatever, dude. We we need we need a we need a we need a, 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 a statewide GoFundMe's. I accept. Like, if better. we don't if they don't do what we need to do, they go missing. That's it. That's what like, this is that. in the senator is gone. We have no clue where he is. We found a very bloody mess in his house. I think That's we put uh, Cheeto puffs in all their orifices and suffocate them if they don't comply. If they don't do what's representative, we start just jamming them in their nose, their ears, and their mouths so they're completely full of their ass, their their pee holes. Jamming, jamming, <laughs> jamming Cheeto puffs and my dick in their all their fucking orifices. <laughs> That's it. They're just like, what? What's going on? You didn't do what you said. You didn't do what you said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I'm gotta sorry, do it. Man. I'm sorry. I, I'm three rhino right pills in, bro. I'm fucking stiff, dude. I'm it's sorry. It's in the new man. constitution. It's in constitution it's... 2.0. No, I can't help right. it, bro. Sorry, you you, you know B-gay. the rules. <laughs> One more question, and then we'll head out. Be gay, be gay. Khaled wrote in. He said, "Be gay, uh, <laughs> be gay." Khaled. He B-gay said, Khaled. "Hello, different varieties of slurs." <laughs> With the rise in popularity of smiling friends, I've been a bit nostalgic for older adult swim shows. So, what were your, some of your favorites? I personally loved Aqua Teen Hunger Force and Space Ghost Coast to Coast. I found recently. This show that I completely forgot about, which was uh, Xavier Renegade Angel. 
<laughs> Which that I, show you I, showed that I just on the podcast, right? I, I yeah, I couldn't believe that I forgot all crazy. about it because it's such a fucking fever dream, and it is so insane. It feels like a YouTube poop, like but on like adult. It's it's wild how out of pocket and and just completely irreverent it is. But Aqua Teen's a goat, I think, easily. Like Aqua I love Teen's really good. My favorite, my all time favorite was C Lab twenty twenty one, um and. Mm. There was a time where, so I was just, you were downloading them. I was downloading the episodes and I'll watch them on the family computer. And my, uh, my mom's partner thought it was probably because, you know, two of the characters, there was a lot of sex on that show. Um, and two of the characters, she thought I was watching cartoon porn, essentially. She thought I was watching like, and then my mom went through, cause we had our own separate password things for our uh, accounts for, we didn't even have AOL. We had a thing called CompuServe. I don't know, there's a lot of people Jesus. that are old heads will be like, holy shit, CompuServe, oh I forgot God. about that. But yeah, that was uh, that was one of the competitors. You know, AOL obviously was the GOAT, but then there was CompuServe that was a little cheaper. And uh, so we used that to get up on dial-up and shit. And then my mom went through my password, and then she found my uh, my uh, the, the, my history, where I would go on like Rotten and Steak and Cheese, and she was like, what the fuck is all this? And I'm like, damn. But it wasn't porn, though. It was just fucked up stuff. But yeah, I always think worse. About, it's probably worse it, than porn. Some of it was definitely worse. I remember one thing specifically that I'll never forget out of my head. It was just so awkward just seeing my mom stare at the screen. And there's this chick that has burning candles like on balancing on her pussy. And so the wax is just dripping on her pussy. Obviously, like some type of torture, pleasure thing or whatever. Some BDSM. Whatever, I don't know what you classify that as. But me just thinking like, what the? Because, you know, you don't know what you're clicking on when you click on it. It's a title. Like, for example... It could be accurate or it could be completely different. And the Lemon Party one, when I saw it, it wasn't called Lemon Party. It was called Three Old Queers. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what that's going to be. And then it's just Three Old Queers. So it was, <laughs> just three old it men was having exactly sex what it said it was. And so was you don't exactly, know. If, it if, exactly if, if it was always it accurate, was. I never would have clicked on that shit. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's My, I always I, think of. Whenever I think of Aqua Teen Hunger Force, it, re- it leads, not sorry, uh, C-Lab 2021 leads me down that pipeline of thinking. Uh, if that was my, my grandma looked at my history, she would have died, <laughs> died, and I would have been the cause of killing my grandmother. So I'm so happy that she never saw the shit I looked at. Yeah, I'm just pissed that like I wasn't watching porn, man. I was like, "What the fuck is Adult Swim?" I'm not even watch like, God, how dare you? Like, like <laughs> you, you found all that crazy shit because I was watching an actual cartoon show. But uh, I love Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Oh, that yeah. was a fun one for me. Great show. Yeah, um, Space Ghost. I loved. I did love Space Ghost, uh, dude. Uh, Space Ghost's grandpa was a voice by uh, uh, Randy Savage, and so he he <laughs> appeared a couple of times. It was fucking awesome. It, it was, was, he, very it was good. basically Space Ghost with just a big fucking gray beard. <laughs> it was it was funny. There's so many yeah, fucking shows. I think, uh, yeah, I think yeah, so Adult Swim was was pretty, especially with Tsunami. That was. It's a huge. It was, it, Adult Swim is probably like one of the most influ- like one of the most under cited, influ- most influential things probably that exists in media. I think, like it's kind of I agree. insane. But I don't think I think that got anime, Family Guy really. back on the air. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure oh, like Adult right. Swim got yeah, Family Guy back right. on the air. It 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 it, it right. introduced like anime to like millions of like like an entirely new generation mm-hmm. for sure. Like it's a it's so a strangely enough, enough tsunami though. Well, he mentioned Our- tsunami briefly before that too. Mm, that's true. Well, tsunami is a yeah, swim ten. You... Really? I thought it was. I thought it was the the different like attachment. Because tsunami at first, because tsunami at first well, to come Cartoon on like, in a midday. Cartoon yeah, Network. Adult Adult was at are... nighttime. Well, he, yeah, he, he, mentioned, the same... he briefly mentioned mm-hmm. tsunami that's as true. he was talking about Adult Swim. He was just kind of like, yeah, yeah. You know. These are the same uh, thing. By the way, these are not like separate Cartoon Network. Technically, you know, there's like technically no, there's Cartoon Network, and then there's Adult Swim also. As far well, as I adult understand it, Adult Swim, is a, su- is, adult swim is a subsidiary is of Cartoon Network. Like they're the same. It's yeah. the same umbrella. It's on like, the same t- channel. Tsunami it was on the same channel. Mm. Yeah, Toonami never ran on that Nickelodeon or like anywhere else. It was it was a Cartoon Network thing specifically, but kind of insane. Like the that impact because yeah. Aqua Teen, I dude, I I looked that Hand Banana episode is is one of the most. One of the, I could. I remember team. watching. I remember watching Hand Banana like as a kid on TV, and. Not fucking understanding. Even at that time, it felt like, yo, how are they getting away with putting this on TV? 
<laughs> like how how is this? There was because even today, like I look at it and I'm like, yo, this is kind of wild, even for like now. That episode because it's literally just a dog <laughs> raping people. Like it's the, it's the whole fucking episode. I mean, I don't know, man. It, it, there are a lot of crazy. I mean, you're looking so uh, you're looking pretty good over there. there. Dude, I just <laughs> I didn't. I didn't enjoy Akatin as much as I would have liked to because I they they wrote Shake so well they they made him he was so hateable like I really did not like <laughs> I watching Shake. Shake Master Shake he sucks dude. such a fucking asshole <laughs> like I could Shake was him. so Shake Shake was my favorite character in that show I loved that I loved of that course, show so an favorite asshole. character I know right of course he's such a dick Shake. he's such a dick and he just always he's always doing the wrong and his voice is so good Dana. <laughs> Uh, I forget what his name is. Dana voice, Silva, yeah. I think, or whatever. But his voice is so perfect. He voiced the 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 big ox guy in Chowder as well, I think. But Austin he, uh, d- no, that's no, no. The I forget. He's on, he's on that show though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the tusks. I can't remember what his name is, but his voice is so good, and the the character design of that shake is so fucking. I like Frylock was probably my favorite one, really. Like, <laughs> like as cool, a character, yeah, yeah. like okay, this is like I liked Frylock a lot. But Shake was so fuck. Shake was like the Kramer of that show, where it's just like I'm watching because yeah. mm-hmm. I I want to see what the fuck Shake is gonna do. It was always some <laughs> bullshit, or he would die. It's too much. Would- it was too much. <laughs> He'd become a zombie, or he'd fucking get everybody sent to hell, or he'd find aliens, and it's like, like what the my fuck? My whole thing is shake? like, why would you can? How could you possibly continue living with this guy? That's what was so like frustrating, I guess. Like, dude, I understand he's needed. It was like, it's like a, it was to me, it was borderline uh, Joffrey in Game of Thrones, like just so like, <laughs> oh fuck this dude, fuck this dude, man. Well, Joffrey but, uh, was there because he was king. That's the reason why Joffrey was there. Everybody, because yeah. he thought he was king. If if, well, if they would have found out he wasn't Robert's kid, someone would have someone would have just hit him in the head with a club and killed him. It was him. Shake's oh, yeah, house, was right? Blunt. Wasn't it? Was it? Wasn't it I Shake's think, house? Uh, was it Shake's house? I don't no, know. Because the door was shaped like him. I have no idea. I remember because the door shake was shaped the like biggest. Shake. Well, because he's also a narcissist, right? Like he, of course, the door was shaped like him. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm curious about that though. <laughs> because but I will a say, door, a door to me, shaped actually, like I gotta shake say, can fit everybody else. That's why Carl is definitely my favorite shake. character when I think about it. Oh, Carl! I, Carl's goaded. Carl is the shit. Carl's goaded. <laughs> He's the okay, best. I, there's, a, there's a scene. There's a scene that lives in my head. Rent for. I think about it. I think actually, like at least twice a week. Every for for like the last several years, of him hiding behind his couch in the dark when Frylock is like knocking on the window. And he's just whispering. He's like, he's got the lights off. He's hiding behind the couch. He's like, Carl, Carl, you home? He's like, he's just whispering to himself. He's like, go away. Go away, you freak. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just so real. It's just so like, yo, get out of here. Go away. Leave me alone. He hates but them. Just he fucking just hates like, those guys, dude. And just like, just yeah. living. Like, why would you put, wouldn't you move? Like, the whole the whole idea of that shit is like, it's so, it's just frustrating that it's like, why would these people, the way that this is set up is so insane and no one's just like, yeah, I'm leaving. Like, anyone. Like, if you were a normal person, you would either move yourself, you would maybe kill some. I don't know, something crazy would happen, but obviously, you know, for the show, we are the moon nights. Dude, I, I just, I love the that moon show. Nights are fucking, the moon and nights. We got to Anyway, <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, move on to, let's, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, let's, let's uh, we got, let's, let's blow this popsicle stand. We got, uh, yeah. All right, Sweeney's doing his mating call, I guess. So he really, I think really he's gotta joking or something. Ah. No, joking. My joking motion's more like. Oh, you- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how. Yeah, you got this over the it's over the wrist. You take your penis, right? You get it almost hard, and then you just put it over this, and you constantly stretch it over your wrist, over and over. You get a damp towel over your penis, right? And over the wrist, you stretch over the wrist. Do that for do that for forty five minutes. Eight days a week. <laughs> All right, let's read these week. names. All right, eight, <laughs> count, count me down. Eight days of Fortnite, and you'll get it. <laughs> Three, two, one. All star, but he repeats, and they don't stop coming. The patron, formerly known as the Puerto Rican Hot. genius, Por- uh, Tom Sweeney has mm. bigger tits than Sydney Sweeney. Miguel O'Hara's trans mask pussy. I wish I'm sucking you. 
Uh, one dick, I'm fucking guys. I got so hard, come so far in mi- in the uh, in my end, Lincoln Park. P. Diddley, uh, Turian pussy. Uh, in this life or the next, twenty eight U.S. Marines in in black Ford Raptor truck, sieging Ram Ranch, looking for Prince Harry so they can fuck his butt. Neon wants to fuck a kid's butthole. Wholesome. Uh, I don't know who Neon is. Oh, isn't he one of those like Alf? What, what, he's one of those Manosphere people, right? Like the Ooh, Neon? Sneeko. Yeah. I feel like Neon. Uh, I feel like that I name is associated picture. with like. Yeah. I feel like that name is associated with like Sneeko and Tate for me. Like I could be wrong, though. I don't know. Let uh, me look. I want to see if I recognize. Because I'm covered in cum, little boozy. Jack, the world's fastest Maori. Gay smiling friends be like, hooray, Charlie, you bred me. I'm boy preggers, Charlie. I love dick, Charlie. I love dick. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I don't want to set my ass on fire. I just want to see a really big fart. Uh, big meaty stinks. Andy, nice. the man whose handies are Esther and Dandy. Cocky bowel boa versus a penis peed. You guys are really not good at these. The <laughs> ending. <laughs> that's a penis a terrible guys are really that not good at these. <laughs> that is ter- so like, mean. The, like, it's, but it's, it's, that's such a bad. <laughs> like, I don't even know what that. A penis peed? Like Apollo Creed. A cocky bowel b- Bowel, so that's mean. so. Blue I get what you're. Balboa? I get it. I get it. But like, God, man, bad. that's so. I don't know, man. That's like Reed, Reed Richards <laughs> stretching. <laughs> uh, the ending. The ending of Fight Club, except a Sweeney at the top of a skyscraper drinking piss. Uh, Heath Smoker, Chris's gay college experience. My dick fell off. Uh, Tariq Nasheed's secret white gay lover. The boy in the striped supreme. <laughs> A uh, homeless trans femme who comes, uh, the, that one fairy, or that one furry, I swear if I had my Gwimbly gun on me right now, <laughs> uh, Jordan <laughs> Peterson, <laughs> my my queer spear be gaping men's balloon knots, uh, like, a child to- like a child's tongue at a birthday party, ah, uh, one of my lectures got cucked by the lead singer of Pixies? Of who? One of my lecturers. We're lecturers, pixies. okay. We're pixies. Check out our wet, mad, wicked mixies. <laughs> we get lixies since the uh, 1960s. That, what, who was that? Was that fucking? Was that um, r- fucking Method Man? Who the fuck was that? That was not Method Man. I think it was. I a, swear to God, God, it was DMC? like. I, it, it, was it Red Man? Someone, dude. Someone did that. Come, someone come. fucking real did that song. Pixies. Pixies, um, ass, ass fairly man? odd parents. It was rap. not Method Man. I can tell you that much for sure. Not, was it Crack oh, Man? The, the Pixie Rap. Oh, yeah. Where Pixies 2005, Method Man, and Red Man. Get fucked. Wait, oh, so what? Get, also, wait, fuck. what? Get, get so molested. From the, so- from, from the, wait, from the get, song? Oh, that is those two? I'm Kingston. I'm no so... Way. Oh, no oh, way. No way that's so both of them. I know hip-hop culture like the back of my heads. That's I crazy. Guess. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take that concession because I never thought that... Do they do like a live act version or is that them from the song? It's it, They just did the show. Hmm. The pixie rap, yeah. Okay. Why is it not playing? What's going that on? That doesn't even sound like them. Yeah, I didn't know they did this. It doesn't remotely sound like them. It no, doesn't. it sounds like Method. Even, what are you talking about? That does not sound like Method Man or Red Man. This sounds like Method Man and Red Man? It sounds like Method, Kicks for it, sure. It's a show, it's a show for, is, kill, for children. Red is definitely it's not going putting to sound. Um, red is definitely... <laughs> Red is definitely changing his voice a little bit, Kingston, but you can definitely tell the Kingston smokiness of uh, Method maybe, Man's voice. Maybe Method Man. It does not sound exactly like them. I didn't Kingston, say well, that. You guys why listen, the so, fuck do you keep putting words in people's mouths? No one said it sounded exactly like them. What the fuck uh, is wrong with you? Me not knowing it's them is, what like is not wrong an insane with you? thing. Why do you do this? That is not an Nobody insane sound. Nobody said that. Insa- no one said that, you dummy. Okay. Okay. Jesus right. Christ! I'm not, I'm not, there's no more argument like, done. Oh, I'm, I'm it kind of sounds like him. I can tell it's him. And then you're like, "Ooh, it doesn't sound exactly like him." Like, nigga, no one said that. How do you do this? I'm not gonna how, argue because that do made this? my brain. That almost made my brain scream. Yeah, you when did you were it like, to it yourself. It sounds like them, and I'm like, "Where does that sound like either I of them?" I can hear the I get it, bro. When I, I do okay. when I do my gay parodies, for example, if you hear it, I'm trying to imitate their voices, but you can tell it's me. Like you can still tell it's me though. 
You're like, oh, I can tell that's Derek doing that. But that's not my exact voice, dummy. I'm, I, I, all right, I'm, Kingston, I'm done. Kingston I almost had a brain fathom. aneurysm. As if you don't know what Kingston, voice acting I almost had a brain aneurysm. My brain, li- what... literally my brain almost yeah. exploded. Yeah, you did so that to I'm, yourself. I'm done. Got you it. did that to yourself. Got it. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, it's over. Kingston, I'm not going to let myself Kingston go crazy over that. Kingston my brain literally that. almost blew up. My brain yeah, almost said, literally yeah. blew up. When yeah, I'm okay, here right, listening, I'm like. You said that six times. So. Let's. I get it. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Onward, I, we onward, get it. Chris. We get onward, it. Chris. We get it. Your Please brain is names. fucked. <laughs> right, right. Before I put my head through my monitor, <laughs> I just, I just, man, that was that's shocking to me that you, like, because yeah, you could ask, like, you could ask, you could ask anyone I know. Well, not anyone I know. I bet a lot of people who also like both Resident and Men Men probably did not know that was them either. Okay, so can I tell you something? I, like them. I, on my on my playlist, I have zero I feel Method like, Man. I feel like you saw that, and that's why you know that. Because I can bet you, Chris, you cannot name another song with both of them in it without looking it up. I will no, put I could money not. on Absolutely it right not. now. You cannot. Exactly. Yeah, well, you, you probably you saw it was Method Man and Red Man. And you were like, oh, that's well, Because I remember, not because I remember the like, show. Oh, that's, that's Method Man from the Wu Tang Clan. You did not yep. do that. But you also have no, they, somebody they like me. Who do you know? Is, can you name Method Man or Red Man songs right now off the top of your head? Of course. One of my name favorite three of them right now. One please. Of my, wh- why do I have to do three now? You just said one. Name two. I'll, name two. So anyway, you said one. Or I'm name say, one. Or at, one, at least name one. One of my favorite fucking hip hop tracks from them specifically is Blackout. I fucking love that song. Okay, bro. Okay, I'm, Blackout. Dude, name, I fucking do. I don't need. Dude, I don't need to prove anything to you. I you very don't, versed you don't with them. Move, but like this, this, I this just, is like, why. I'm, I'm very versed with I, Method and Red. I like a lot of their stuff. I actually like Method Man a lot more than Red Man. I actually think Red. I'm I love be honest, Method Man. I think I, I think love Red Method Man, is, Man is highly overrated. To be honest, I, I I'm be I'm be honest. I think it's highly overrated. I think I Method Man that. is way better. Just a better. I think lyricist. Method Man is way easier better. to listen to. But like the but the like say look at when you when I'm hearing this pixie thing. I, what I would normally think, probably what you thought. Is that oh some people pretending to be them? It's like you probably think it was just some people pretending to be them. Because me I hearing know, it, I didn't even think it was them because it didn't sound like them. It de- and I then once I heard, once tell, I heard you were like, once I was like, it was like, oh, can, that's Method Man, hundred percent. I went and I was like, I guess I can one of them sounds method sort of like him. I can I hear Method hear somewhat. Method. Definitely not Red Man. That sounds. Mm, I've. I've. I've like, heard dude, Red Man since you, I was I a child. I can hear Red Man's voice too. He's just putting on more I of a character. I can hear Red Man's voice. I can like, hear Red Man's voice. I'm still listening to it. So, bis- so this, it, is, what, know, this is an easy. This is a, you know an easy experiment to do is we can just get a, a method in Red song, right? And then just be like, hey guys, listen to this song. Now listen to this Pixie song. Can you tell these are the same people? I guarantee you, nine out of ten people are gonna be like, yeah, I can. I, I I can tell that they're just doing a dumbass thing called we're pixies, but I it remember, is them I doing it. I remember that being a I remember that of being a big deal at the time because I remember that was that like was what everybody too. was talking what? about at the time when that episode aired. I remember I remember like being in school and people were like, did you see fucking Method Man on and fucking Red Man on fucking I don't know fairly how you odd don't parents hear and I remember that being like, them I, and I remember I, being like I don't know who those are. Call. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know anything about that, but like I for whatever reason I remembered that being a, a topic of conversation. I was like, oh yeah. I'm gonna show you, uh, Weird. Chris. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you "Blackout" right now by them. And uh, All right, send me I, I, uh, when this song came out, it there's something about it that really like uh, I took to it. I bet I'm gonna than, hear like, it. Say, I, I bet. I bet I'm gonna hear yeah. it. And I'm gonna be like, oh, these are the Pixies guys. <laughs> <laughs> these are just the Pixies. So. <laughs> put it. Put so it in the I'm chat. Just, I'm gonna put it. I, I just wanted just to. Uh, up, actually, no, no. It sounds I'll, more I'll, like Red Man now. The more I listen to it now. Not that I listened to the whole down. song and I went DVD back. Round sound. That's so the insane. Song, it comes in around like I've 30 heard, seconds. Because I've heard and l- I've seen Thanks, that episode Thanks, so Thanks, many Thanks, times. Thanks. I never thought Method Man or Red Man. I actually don't think. Uh, but also my brain's probably re- remembering them speak. And my brain was like, like, oh, they sang like they spoke. It sounds like this. It's, it, it does sound. Stick <laughs> they em. sound like the same uh-huh. people. Stick them. <laughs> St- stick them. It's a different cadence, Wanna obviously, and, the, and the, talking, obviously the song is different. Start walking. Right. We're pixies. Oh, now you're forcing. We're pixies. It's, it's the night. I'm hot it's scorching. It's Such a, I, remember, I, remember, I remember that episode so vividly because I remember being like, this is an unusually good song so for like a fairly odd parent. Because so they, they, they have not really. For open can of ass whooping. They weren't exactly like Family oh, Guy. You know what I mean? Where Family Guy was putting out like just like really good. Like they, they, they would win like fucking awards for their musicals. 
Fairly Odd Parents never won a damn thing because it's the, the, most of their songs are not good. And I remember that song came on in that movie, and I remember being like, "What the fuck? That was good for some reason. Like, why is that, what is that well one done?" Called, the, my just, shiny, my shiny, uh, my, my shiny, shiny, oh, my shiny teeth, teeth in me. Shiny my teeth, shiny teeth in me my was shiny pretty good. Fat cock in me. My big <laughs> fat cock in me. <laughs> <laughs> my dick that spark. You know what makes me happy? Really it fills me yeah, up with glee. You, know you know what? Actually, that prop, guy? Props dick, to that. You fucking that stupid fair. prick. <laughs> Was that that is was fair? That I, I forgot about I forgot about that one. <laughs> was I was forgot that about a celebrity? You think that guy? Yeah, it was. That was that was, was, that, um, that it was, was actually it was, it was Aaron Carter or what's his name or Justin McCartney, one of them. Justin McCartney. No, it was, was Chris Kirkpatrick. It was Chris Kirkpatrick. Oh, it was from uh, Insync oh, or, or Backstreet Boys. The Insync one, one, the one those, that like remember. no one cares yeah. about. It's interesting. Uh, yeah. W- who's Justin McCarthy? Do you mean Justin Timberlake? Jesse McCartney. Jesse M- Jesse McCarthy. Who's that? He di- I think he died recently. Let me see. I don't know who yeah, that he is. Got Jesse McCartney. Away. He's Justin McCartney was like a big, away. he was like a big teen, guy. like when we were he kids, made I he was kind of like, I'm mistaken. he was like proto Justin, he was, yeah, he was like proto Justin that. Bieber when we were kids. Yeah. I remember I that one really candy remember. thing. Ew. I'm, I blocked that out of my memory. Ew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're you an adult. To, yeah. You're, you're already an adult. <laughs> if you liked that song, that would have been weird as fuck. <laughs> Fucking straight. <laughs> So, Beautiful Soul is a really popular song from this no, guy. No, he did not pass away. Lily's here to us. He did not pass away yet. I think Aaron Who was Carter the guy? just died. Aaron, Aaron Carter. Carter. Aaron, Aaron Carter, Carter just died. Aaron right. Carter did die. Oh, so he's the one that did it? Or was it? No, you said it was Chris. You, you were talking about the one that passed away. I got you. I got you. Yeah, Chris, Chris Kirkpatrick did Chip Skylark in, in Fairly Odd Parents. He did Chips. Je- Aaron then, Carter uh, died. And Jesse, Jesse died. McCartney did, did uh, me and you and your beautiful soul. You know what's fucked up? He was one of the only few people that was uh uh he was running defense for that fat dude that that put all the 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 boy bands together and he like abused them all and stole their money and shit. I forgot his Dan name. Schneider? They did a documentary. It, it was it was a Dan Schneider version. It was literally Dan the just one, but for the, mu- for pop music. He put the all the boy one bands that together. Recently died, right? The one that recently died. Uh-huh. What happened was someone tried to cuz he was close to Michael Jackson when he was younger. He worked with him a few times, and they were like, hey, can you come and say fuck shit about Michael Jackson? And he was like, why would I lie about a man that was only ever really kind to me? And he, like, literally, like, outwardly, like, no, Michael never did anything wrong to me, and they tried to make me say fuck shit about him. It was his mother and shit like that. And I was like, see, dang, that's pretty fucking wild. That's interesting, but I also, he he defended that guy that clearly abused all the other pop singers. So I'm wondering if he was too young to understand. Because, like, everybody else, they made a documentary, and they diarrhea all over that guy. They're like, that nigga stole all of our money. He said he was a sixth member of, of NSYNC, and so he would just get a large fat cut, and, like, he would steal all these people's money. I'm like, it's crazy. He was just some fat guy behind the scenes that put the bands together, and he would take, like, most of their money, I guess. Um, you know, it makes me really happy. Anyway, anyway, SpongeBob piss pants. Oh, yeah. Mr. Pants, Jesse, we My need to make more piss, sparkles. Jesse. I can't, Mr. White. Baller of the first sin, spump of futters, gay motley crew. When I get high on peen, hot guys, cummy cocks, drug for me. My butt slam, fuck my butt. High on peen. I don't know what this. I don't know what these are. Uh, I think it's um, kickstart my heart. I think that's kickstart yeah, my I, heart. I, 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 I can't. High on pee. I don't think I've. I don't think I've listened to a single motley crew song all the way through. Really, like you, you may have heard that of one. Guitar song, Hero. Like, Whoa, yeah. Kick, stop my heart, and suck my cock. Whoa. Yeah. Call maybe? Me. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, if it's on Damn. Guitar Hero, then I've heard it. But like, if, it, if it's not on Guitar Hero, then mm. I haven't heard it. Understandable. <laughs> it's a I Guitar mean, Hero you band. Know, all, all that glam shit, the, it's, it's mostly the same. The old metal. Yeah. Uh, hair metal. Yeah, it's jolly, old, jolly old dipshit dragons suck my cock a, mm. a jizzin. All right. Patrick hit him with the autistic flow. A Sydney Sweeney's tits has two moons. Cyphergraph, medium penis haver. Palestinians be like, hey, here they come. It's lots and lots of Jews in planes. Uh, <laughs> Jews in planes is funny. <laughs> Don't fear the Reaper. All the guys have come. Queer butts on their schlong. Uh, huh? Man. I think I really think we are kind of experts. <laughs> what, what, like, you know what I will say? We're, I will say this. I've seen other people do it. And right, I will say it doesn't get the little effort that we've put in, and then what I've been doing recently, exploding on TikTok, and I see other people doing it, and I'm like, 
R- really, guys? I, I I told another guy that uh, he I, he had an idea of doing Weezer, and I said, "Yeah, do it, man. It'll probably like blow up, but like, I just think people suck. <laughs> like, it seems like it's too it's so easy. I'm like, bro, this is this is just money. It's money on the table." Why are you it's niggas difficult. not doing it's, it? Just, it's it's just, it's difficult for people to maybe do. It, refuse, maybe it's more bro. difficult than we think. I I maybe it is. Nah, but man. there are it's some bangers. Totally to us. It does. It 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 odd. It eerily does. Not uh, <laughs> we have no we have no stake in it. That's why we're that just saying true. shit. We're just that saying shit. We don't got to fucking worry about it. I ain't got to worry about nothing. There's some people that may be like, hey man, <laughs> yeah. you're, you you may this may not. Uh, I'm like I don't I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear nothing. I'm just I'm yeah. just here. I don't hear any of your say, fucking I, logic. I don't care. I, I don't care if it's right. I don't care if you're right. Fuck you. <laughs> I have to say, I'm putting a moratorium on on this whole thing. I'm putting a moratorium. If you're listening to this and you've gotten this far, then you know what that means. You enough. You pitch. You got to stop pitching us on on these song parodies because it's getting to the point where like you you don't pitch you don't pitch an artist on what their next art should be. You know what I mean? Like it's that's not how it because because then it's like oh that's a good idea but we can't do it because it's not ours now and we didn't we didn't we didn't come up with it. There's a lot of things that are being taken off the table because they're not now ours. And you can't, you gotta you just chill. Like, we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him. Or go back to writing weird shit. Yeah. You can write some weird shit or look at, you, ha- you have to become undeniable. Where it's yeah. so good that it's like, that, that is, that's a good idea. And then maybe we'll steal it from you. And you'll be happy yeah. that you at least were included. Yeah, like this like one. This, this one. This one is. This one. This next one is is a great example. LZ, I'm gonna give you my cum. I'm gonna give you my cum. Not a whole lot of cum. Not a whole lot of cum. Not a whole lot of cum. Not worth it. <laughs> Simply not. It just wasn't worth it. What song was that? What song was that? Exactly. Was it exactly. pocket full of sunshine? Was really, the only no. the only stipulation one? I had personally is I wanted people to say what it was, but I feel like they refused yeah. to do it because they want the struggle of us trying to figure it out. They want they want I guess. that. Yeah, they're fucking. They're, so. These guys are rat bastards. That's why everybody is <laughs> rat. You know what happened? If you know what fixed this problem seriously for everybody, if they took a little, little less time being fucking stupid and gay. This problem would be way fucking better. But too right. bad you're so, you're so busy being fucking gay. Cosmo, and dumb, Wanda, I wish for a me. glass of cummies. Hunter Dubois, back with Revengers. Diving head first into my TV oh. after seeing Tifa in a Dummies. bikini in a Dumb Final gays. Fantasy VII Rebirth. <laughs> Dumb gays. Um, I'm, at the, I'm on the last chapter of Final Fantasy VII Remake now, by the way. Damn, Almost done. I finished been, Rebirth yesterday. Um, you've been blazing through that shit, huh? Yeah, I you mean... You finished I, Rebirth I, 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 already? I've, yeah, I finished Rebirth yesterday. Jesus Christ, you niggas are fucking... Well, it's been out for a month, to be fair. It's been a month. Okay, um, yeah, okay, yeah. fair, fair. The ending made me really sad. That's all I'm going to say. Mm, I didn't great. like how it Thanks. ended, personally. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what if... Yeah, no, maybe, that doesn't mean anything. Maybe he was the ex- ending made me sad doesn't mean anything. What if Chris was yeah, looking but now forward to it being a happy ending? I, it, it, I never said it wasn't a happy ending. I said I didn't like it, and right. it made me sad. All right. Well, that means well, nothing. All right, fine. All right, Something all right, good fine. can happen. I'm like, I don't like that. I'm right. still sad. All right. All, right. Still... all right. I was just, I was just kidding. This, <laughs> this, I, this was that's too, the whole point. Of this. <laughs> this was too good. <laughs> Everything was, was too, too positive. I, I don't like it. I don't like that. <laughs> Dude, I, it's so funny because I was, I was, I, I, this is my second time playing through it. Uh, I never beat it, but like, I totally. The first time I played through it, I got embarrassingly deep into the game before I realized that you could D-pad right on the spells. I think I got like f- seven hours in before I was like, oh, you could fucking... What you the fuck is that? stronger versions of the spells? Yeah, because to me, I was thinking like, why would I want to use a weaker version of the spell? To gauge you know? your like, magic. Why would I want to... No, yeah, obviously. To, like, range your but like, magic I just out. wasn't... But like, my thought <clears throat> was like... If it upgrade, because you don't get to choose when to upgrade it, you know what I mean? Like it just sort of upgrades automatically. Like it, like they upgrade automatically. And so my assumption was it would be. You also never played the original one, really. So that's that makes sense. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't play much of the <laughs> so original Final Fantasy. That makes sense. Is you didn't play Final Fantasy. This, apparently, on apparently, PC this yet? entire. Not it yet. is. It should be. So. Wait, is it not? Not. It's not a PC yet. Not yet. Like, is it? It's like it's gonna. It's gonna come later. Like, uh, it's on remake. its way. It's on the way to Xbox and on Portugal and PC. Mm. It's not definitely not yet. on its way to Xbox. That's insane. Um, <laughs> it's not gonna be, isn't the last uh, one on Xbox or no? I no, Final Fantasy VII Remake is not on Xbox. 
No. So it's, it's only on, on PC? Xbox? Yeah, it's only on PC it's just like and Windows. Windows. But not Xbox. But not Xbox. Okay. Xbox. Okay. Let me see. Final Fantasy VII Remake Xbox. Uh, two months ago, it, it says Final Fantasy VII. Right now, dude. What the PS? The PlayStation Five? No, no. I'm not. I'm. I'll maybe. I might just buy the Pro. I, I think I'm just gonna wait for the Pro. Or I don't even know if I should buy it at all. I don't. I just don't. I, I yeah. personally, since it, your your job is it is is completely. You need it, obviously. Me, yeah. I. It's just there's not enough exclusive stuff on there for me to want to buy it. Because I know Spider Man Two is gonna come out on PC eventually. I can wait. You know, I've been waiting. So I'll wait patiently. Yeah, just uh, yeah. Honestly, like if you don't, if you Ragnarok. don't have, a, if you really don't, if you really don't care about waiting, there's no reason for you to have it. Yeah, I'm okay. Like, there's too much shit out already, bro. I want to go back to play Baldur's Gate at a certain point because there's just still more shit to do. And so I'm kind of like, why am I gonna keep buying games I'm, I'm and never my, I'm, finish I'm on anything my I play? Playthrough. I'm on my finally fourth playthrough of Baldur's Gate. See, see what I've I'm gotten, saying? Like it's just a it, good there's... ending. I've gotten good. I've gotten bad. I want to try to make it a monk whole game. Monks start sucking really bad at a certain point in the game. Yeah, it's 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 they not get viable, really dude. Really fucking bad. It's and not it that makes viable. Me so upset because I really want to use the monk because I love how they get the sash that give them different elemental punches. I think yeah. that's so cool. But the monk is so bad. Yeah, they it's, are it's so much worse than other characters. It, yeah. And I'm like, damn, dude, fuck! I wish this monk was a good. Lily's character. asper, a, a <laughs> Lily's asparagus bringing, uh, binging piss dealer. Uh, back to tank of cum, nice. Caucasian container, the cracker bottle for gays, Donald Trump burping on Dom's clit. Um, super Earth is just regular Earth without Israel. <laughs> Max silhouette, ass strong to take on any dong. In me's where all all dick belongs. Um, what is that? Obviously, that's headstrong by trapped. Uh, she picked oh, in on my oh. Pippa. Uh, I live in Orange County, New York now. Fuck you, Long Island. Uh, Sweeney showers and sneakers. <laughs> I love that. We are I was talking about the, JoJo the other day. <laughs> just, there's so something about funny. that. The, the, <laughs> the image of anybody showering. It, it, the, the image of somebody <laughs> naked with shoes on is so fucking funny. Uh, <laughs> so crazy. why? Because what? Because like you think you think that you got that many people after you that you gotta have sneakers on in the bathroom? Because I feel like you'll slip in the shower if you're wearing sneakers. So maybe, what the fuck maybe are you anti doing? slip ones. You get the ones they wear at like a job, like at a fast food joint. You get the anti slip anti shoes. slip so you can just take off. You can just take <laughs> off on somebody. <laughs> Sprinting in the fucking rain. Dude, I had to throw away my sneakers today because like like I had I had a pair of shoes that I've had since I'm since I moved to LA. <clears throat> oh nice. And th- the traction was is all like you could you know how like you can slide on socks? On like a yeah. on like you a, could do that with on a sneakers. Yeah, I could do that with my sneakers, and it got like so bad. I was like, "Yo, I, I'm gonna die in these shoes." So I, I gotta. But it was so sad. I'm, I don't like throwing away shoes because mm. they work. So right now, so generally, you guys probably don't know you. this. There's a huge thing of beef going on between J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and Drake because uh, oh, because of the, the feature and, song. Yeah. So J Cole and Drake made a song called First Person Shooter." Where they were calling, they were calling themselves the big three of like hip hop. First of all, the fact that Drake thought he was gonna call himself the big three and, and one of the best rappers ever is insane. Like, I look, I think Drake has done a lot of great things and he's reached a lot of accolades that are not uh, other artists are just not gonna reach. He's the second biggest artist in the world. You take that, you take that shit, and you go to the bank with and you respect that you have that right. But for him to stand in a conversation of the greatest artists alive right now and really put himself there is insane to me. Well, he's just he like, makes the most repetitive, boring music. He makes like pop level music in no, hip hop. He does make pop. He does make pop. He's and like, it's he's, like, he's, really, he's a pop artist. And it's really wild that he did that. But what That's happened the was there's a lot of people going back and forth between Kendrick's camp and J. Cole's camp. And it's getting fucking really ridiculous because if we're going to be honest, I love J. Cole. I actually really love J. Cole. It's good. I was just listening to him last night. I respect him as an artist. I think he's a genius. He's no Kendrick Lamar when it comes to ability to make albums. Kendrick's album making is probably like the best we've seen in like many generations of artists. No, he, his his range, the, the the easiest thing, the easiest thing, let's strip a lot of stuff away. Like long story short, Kendrick's range, what he can do with his his vocal ability, he, no I, people I, can't touch him. I, it's it's simple. I'm, I'm, I don't even I don't even I think it's way beyond that. I think when you it, take it is a, way beyond that. You didn't hear body, what I just said yeah. though. 
just yeah, to just to yeah, like but... not get all the way deep into it, just that little fact alone, it enough already separates him from everybody else. He nobody can do. They can't do. People can't. J Cole can't do what Kendrick can do. Like he just doesn't have that type in of creativity. What sense? And what's I guess in the sense of just like, like his vocal strip range. away, strip away all of the music and just listen to how he does stuff. His cadence, his def, his his voice, the different things that he can do, the different ranges. He's in so many different ranges that people are normally. I can only rap in my range. I only have my one. J Cole has a range. And I like, think J. Cole can rap in multiple ranges, but he can't. Not as, he not as diverse as Kendrick. I would give him he that. He's not as diverse as Kendrick. He sounds the I same in fucking Drake, every song. Drake is a diverse artist. J. Drake can sing quite well if he wants to. Drake I sings better he than can. he raps. I think especially now. He doesn't rap anymore. That's why. He doesn't rap. He's yeah. not rapping what he's I've, doing I'm anymore. be honest. I've, just, I've never liked him rapping. I, I, I've never. Really? I've, I, don't, I've, I think I he's don't, made good songs. I think the only time, and it's and I see, like it's the ghost shit, when you can tell like it's definitely written for him. Like say uh, what was that song Forever? Like uh, last yeah. name ever. Like, he didn't write that shit. But I think that's a great. I think that he sounds good in that song. Like when he's not writing for himself, I think he sounds good. And then when he clearly think, is putting his own shit together, I'm like, dude, you you you're fuck, you suck, dude. You suck, dick. <laughs> I think I think Drake has this talent. I because I because I I didn't want to miss him. I was I'm a Drake fan. I listened to a lot of his music. I listened to a lot of his albums. I think he has his talent in where he has his talent. But yeah. I think for him to say he's one of the best ever is insane. I think Kendrick Lamar de- one of the best defeats artists. them both when it comes to what he's created. So Pimp a Butterf- to have three al- to have four albums like Damn, To Pimp a Butterfly, um, Good Kid, okay, Mad yeah. City, to have Mr. Morale the big like to have those kinds of albums under your accolades. Your yeah. worst album is Good Kid, Mad City. That's an insane thing to have as your worst album. That uh, is I, fucking I think, insane. I think Good Cape Mad City is better than Section Eight, for example. Like, I think Section Eight is better. I think Section Eight is better because it's a come up album and he has to go harder in a lot of the songs. But I, I mean, think I the songs li- productions, like the, songs. the productions. I, I mean, in we, we could we could argue about Good that, Kid. but but again, to say this right, it's this, really insane. And people and Black Twitter's getting fucking wild. They're saying crazy things to each other, and I'm like, y'all, these are artists that don't know y'all exist. Well, people Please just think calm like, down, people. People Please. think sales means that you're the best, and that's all Drake has. Drake is the second biggest artist in the world. It's it's Taylor Swift, and then it's Drake. You know what's crazy? For a while, it was actually Bad Bunny. Oh yeah, for f- if, if, three years it was Bad Bunny, which is crazy. If more people uh, knew English, I mean, sorry, spoke Spanish, like say in the in the in the United States, he would be number one, untouchable. But yeah, he so do. a lot of people all yeah. over the world love him because everybody likes copying Hispanic culture, just like black culture. Whenever, whenever, yeah. whenever minorities are doing good, everybody's like, "Yo, this is lit. Let's jump on this train." Yeah, <laughs> yeah the niggas doing pro wrestling and stuff, all that. But yeah, let's get the fuck out of here, though. Let's get, He's let's thriving, get out of here. bro. Did you finish, Chris, or no? No, he didn't finish. What? He was waiting for you. No, <laughs> he was no, waiting, I was for, waiting your for you to finish. <laughs> but, but I drew a, but I drew a, I drew a cheese elemental. Damn, that's not bad. Look at it. You did not draw that's that this good. quickly. That was on your nah. thing. You did not draw that. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say, I was like, damn, dude, no are you way. sure you don't want to be like a fucking animator? What the fuck? I was no like, that was pretty Chris good. Do that. <laughs> just sit in and, I, and I just believed him because I didn't know any better. I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty I fucking could, good. I can't, I, well, I mean, that did that that realistically drawing that took about that amount of time, but like the coloring is yeah, coloring takes time. But, There's right, no way you could because you weren't even moving your fucking your thing that way. You were just like <laughs> tapping and scrolling. If you <laughs> I was, could do that, that'd coloring. be I'm like, damn, Chris. It, yeah, I was literally coloring. Yeah. This is like you can see that you can see the process. I'd be like, why are you do? I would be like, why are you doing this? If you could do that, like, why are you doing this? <laughs> yeah, I was like, why did you? Like, why? Are like, you, you could really do be you, creating stuff. Kingston, I can draw very. I can I can paint like I can. There's no profitability in that. It's like it's a just waste. Do, but there, just, but there's no just, profitability, just a, but there's a ton, a of, called, there's a ton of artistic Canyon expression. Me Canyon 2. I can't. I, or, or, well, uh, like animating or, um, is different. Or, animation is hard. Like, I can draw. Oh, true. I can't animate. That That's a whole other level where it's like, that, that's true, conceptualizing true, yeah, yeah, a 2D. That. That's conceptualizing like a, a character in like every possible pose every from every angle. No way. That's that's right. tricky. Right. Um. But right. anyway, where are we at? We're rebranding the Snark Tank as the Spank Tank. Maybe slightly above average clit energy. Mm-hmm. Just the hard R. Star Coffee. Never made it as a straight man. Only made it as a gay man squealing. Gay Blade, Gay Blade. I nice. like to come on, come on out here, you rapist. Uh, Vince McMahon. Uh, 
My son froze to death in the wastes of Ohio by going homeless real to pay you fucks. And this is... <laughs> you got to look up that quote. And the way he says it, too. Come out here, you rapist! It's so it's it's crazy, dude. <laughs> guys, that, can, guys, that's can a real you look quote? at what I just posted real, in the, That's the, a real thing chat. he says. What do you I'm, want? I'm pull it I just posted in the chat. Huh? This account is wild. Oh, you just posted some stupid chat. bullshit in the pet chat? Just keep reading, Chris. Don't worry. Do your thing. I want to see Dirk's reaction. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> oh, God. What is this? This kind of is wild. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. 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 <laughs> You know, like Twitter's coming back. Exposing, to it's coming back to what it's so many likes. So many likes. Back. And Ninety million rogens of ionizing radiation. You so worms. many likes, dude. Craig the Canadian. Chris is my favorite gaslighter. Derek, my favorite misogynist. Sweeney is there, I guess. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's your boy Shawnee D. Wump, wump, man ass, wump, man ass, wump, man ass. The, again, dude, it's almost back to I, old Twitter. I, I don't I'm know. So excited. They screenshotted uh, I live in that Philly. tweet at 9K likes. <laughs> it's crazy. 9K likes is wild for that. It has I live in Philly and everything you guys said is true. <laughs> I'm reading your guys' name. If you guys can't hear it over them talking, that's that's not my problem. I'm reading Yeah, that. yeah. It, it's, yeah it's, it's not like, my problem. Just keep it's not my problem. Powering don't, I don't want to get a fucking complaint. I don't want to get a complaint. Uh, I live in Philly and everything you guys said. By the way, you can talk over this. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I once saw two homeless guys fucking uh, my near my high school. If I, Chris Reagan, had one wish, I'd wish that women could only speak by shouting their names like stupid fucking Pokemon. 3XO politely informing someone that they dropped their cum while waiting in line. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you, did you drop your cum? Uh, the homeless <laughs> cat in... <laughs> The homeless cat that Shane Dawson impregnated, slurping, smoking, joking, smoking, emoticons going like this. Uh, drip MH, Lord of Homeless Drip. I got my mind set on you by George Harrison. I got my ball sweat on you. Zeus Man Milk. Obi, won't you blow me? Jackson Vernon, Norwegian Game Dev, fucking the homeless to sleep. Kremlin to Gremlin, her song, and the dicks go in and the dicks go out. I'm going to steal your bones. Uh, one more spoon of cum syrup now. Oh, whoa. Zoo by Denzel Fury. Uh, Abby, uh, let Derek. Read the names, you tyrant. Yo, it's me, Vladimir Vladim, Vladimir Anovich Putin. I'm going to send Ethan Ralph to destabilize Lithu Lithuania so I can take it. Wage Slave 583, a sad oh guy from uh, Michigan. Finally, I'd like some cum shots. Maybe one with uh, the camera looking up at you, one on the ground, one where you come on your belly. That's wild. Uh, the Papini Brothers uh, presents Master Roshi Flow. We smoke in dino caps and fly in nimbuses, you stupid piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> Donk Donkerson. I'll uh, uh, I'll read the names. I like some my other time. And like my, <laughs> and like my dad used to say, dig it, uh, while you can, bitch, because the light just turned motherfucking green. Bye, bitch. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Installing fuck? a faulty neural link in Chris's head that plays thunder on repeat. You gotta pay the troll's hole to get in the boy's hole. Gate six. <laughs> Alexander the gaped. Uh, by uh, <laughs> what the fuck. Wait. <laughs> what? Did I copy this wrong? Yo, his delivery on rapist is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. And then he comes oh, out himself. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so good, dude. Oh man. Bye. <laughs> Alexander the Gates, bye a man. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, this is a good this is a good so name. Funny. I like this name. This is a good name actually. What is it? Uh <laughs> buy a man buy a man eat fish he day. Teach fish man to a lifetime. <laughs> that shit is, that shit was meant to solely switch you go twitch you up, man. Yeah. It's so stupid. Fuck Patreon for removing uh, the search by month option. These cunts will, will do whatever it takes to make the site unusable. Suck the dick in your mouth. Uh, no one else can suck it for you. Only you can make it come. No one else, no one else can stick the cum on your mouth or whatever. Uh, 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 ah, help. Fuck. Uh, the lesbian holding hiding in your walls. They're coming. Lots and lots of dick and balls. Uh, I went homeless paying Ian Miles Chong to swat the Chumba Casino guy. Uh, John Strickland, I miss old Kanye. Go to the throat, Kanye. Pulls in the hole, Kanye. Drag on dance floor, Kanye. Merck's 1889. Call me the third piggy because I'm bricked up and ready to get blown. Damn. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's a good one. I might use, use that, that one in the bedroom. That's, actually, that's, that's unironically hilarious. 
That um, is pretty good. The first church of Keith David featuring a crowd of uh, people gang writing on Chris's l- little slutty notebook. The second church of Keith David featuring being better than the first church of Keith David. Pre-Ross, Blake 896, a half black, half Vietnamese person named Bitch N-Word. Lost my job at Kohl's because they caught me playing with the mannequin's boobs. Chris, Chris's 6'2 stunt double. I've always wanted to do that, by the way. I've always wanted to have like a video where like... I've always wanted to have a video where like I, I there's like an action scene or like some scene where like I take a tumble and it's just like a black guy who's like way taller than me in my clothes for like that are your three size? or four so, seconds. Something like that happened in I think that it was still called your size. I think it was called uh, it was one of those spoof movies that might have been a uh, date movie. With that redheaded chick yeah. from uh from uh, uh what, that pie movie American Pie, and then she's supposed yeah. to like she's on a bike and then she's supposed to like jump a gap or something and there's this giant black dude with fucking muscles and I was like that was the only funny part of that movie like literally yeah I, that's a, that's, a, that's an part old of that's a classic that, that, that was in a naked gun that's in a naked gun movie I think as well or something like that uh, um mm, there's also, also a Family a, Guy gag. A commercial. There's a commercial with uh, Michael Jordan where his mom is like playing basketball with him, and his oh, big yeah. black dude dunks with the wig of his mom on. And it's like <laughs> there you go, Michael, and this is like <laughs> stupid. What the fuck? I, I love that. It, it's such a simple joke, but I love that joke. Uh, Alaskan oil field trash, yeah, Texas tater real. salad, Chris eating pussy like a fat guy at a buffet. <laughs> uh, Sue Hulk tickle my ass hairs, Nikki Ziggy. I want to test Chris's dyslexia, Ginger. Uh, my piss is thick like gas station slushy, and Lily chugs it. The, the script for nine mm. eleven. The script. <laughs> Wicked nine oh nine. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Badly brave. Hugger Derek. Duck cunt. The vegan necromancer. I got consent. Atherian. Bridget and Punter. Melvis one. Finally rehabilitated and back in the saddle with two functioning hands. And as always, rounding out our list is the king of haphazard. The king. Golly G. The king. Well, G Perino, guys, out of here. we're going to get out of here before the. the, the, the we're just going to get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Bye, Nick. <laughs>